What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another fight companion, the third fight companion on the same day. Yes, it is 11 p.m. here, Central Time. I know it's New Year's Eve out west in J or out east in Japan. And wow, this is just shades of Pride FC. When I was a kid watching those New Year's shows as well, this is amazing. Bellator and Ryzen, Bellator versus Ryzen. So freaking excited for that tonight. However, before we even get to the Bellator versus Ryzen, we have Ryzen's 40th event, Ryzen 40. And look at that beautiful ring, not a cage, a beautiful ring. Oh, I can't wait to see some soccer kicks tonight. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, much like Aaron has, much like Vasco has, so we can get interactive. That's what we do on these streams. We get totally interactive here. Very excited to be watching rise and i know my boy i know my boy grave digger jones grave digger jones we've been talking about this man for what like two months now and it's finally here it's finally here rise and verse bellator rise and 40 very excited to have you folks here if you're new to the channel we do live play-by-play -play, live commentary live reaction and most importantly live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat so subscribe to the channel drop a comment in the live chat and if you if you're shy if you're shy, that's okay. Vote in our poll question. Vote in our poll question. And you know what? I need your guys' help. I need your guys' help because as you can see on the video, Ryzen versus Bellator is going to be a separate stream. There's going to be an, about an hour, maybe two hour break between both of these events. I think only an hour. We'll see. But anyways, in between then, I need your help to make a new poll question or make a poll question for the second stream. Now, I can even write the poll question right now. I could write it during this one, but I need your guys' help. What should the next poll question be on the next stream? It was funny. Um, as uh, the intro was going and I was refilling my water bottle, <clears throat> doing some voice exercises, actually. I'm, I'm trying to talk a little quiet here because my roommates are going to bed. So I will be as animated. You just won't hear me scream as you usually do. And I have my mic cranked up right now as well so I can... Speak quietly, but you folks can still hear me, and I hope you can still hear the excitement in my voice as I've been waiting, as well as Gravedigger Jones, by the way, one of the exclusive members here on the channel. I appreciate you, good sir. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. We've been waiting so long for this. It's funny. I was saying uh, to Aaron, if you go to bed before this event is done, use a casual, dude. You are an MMA casual if you ain't staying up all night for <laughs> Bellator versus Ryzen, Ryzen 40. Oh, something just blew in my eye Woo. Aaron said or use a drunk that's why I'm switching to water right now I will I will grab a beer in a little bit here you're using Francis server I'm using a Toronto server I, I clicked Vancouver originally but it, it went default back to Toronto Ooh. did any of you catch the rise in pre or yeah, the rise in pre-show on their YouTube channel they stream for free this like crazy Japanese metal rap group oh my god I mean I just love Japan. I love Japan. David Reyes. Are you going to show the fights? David, I can't show the fights. You know that, dude. You know that. Ryzen. The, the Yakuza would shoot me in the fucking head if I showed Ryzen right now. You know that, David. You know that. Hey ho, what do you everyone? This is my first Ryzen event of the last day of the year. Also my first pay-per-view event. I'm so fucking hyped for this. Even though it's not Pride, it's going to be awesome tonight. Yes, this is the closest thing we have to Pride Championship, to Pride FC, my apologies, Pride Fighting Championship. And to be honest, when I was growing up, Pride was my favorite. I loved Pride, Strike Force, and uh, and the UFC, but like Pride was my favorite, man. I cannot wait for this. And you know, AJ McKee saying in his interviews, "Can't wait to kick some kick some heads like soccer balls tonight." Yeah, me and Britt are staying up. What is up, Brian? <laughs> Benjamin Benjamin Ish is a casual. If he doesn't show the fights, all right, I'm admitted a casual, dude. I'm admitted a casual then. I wish I could, folks. And I, you know what? Someday, I hope, I hope one of these MMA organizations just hire me so I can be their hype man and sh and like show their fights on a sub channel. But until we get to that day, <laughs> you got Tapology and ESPN. <laughs> Jules, I'll stay for as long as I can. That is awesome. I appreciate you guys, Brittany. What is up? Thank you so much for joining. Merry Christmas. 
Happy New Year. We get like a New Year's gift early. I'm partying with the boys tomorrow night, and I'm also streaming MMA all night. I ain't sleeping for two nights in a row. And folks, get this. We still have two more streams this weekend. We have we have Bellator versus Ryzen, and we have Cage Warriors tomorrow that we're going to try to squeeze in the schedule as well. Oh, man, I didn't know that. Uh, fight TV, fight.tv. If you have a VPN in the United States, you can watch both the events. You can watch the first one if you're in the States, and it was only 15 bucks. What's up, Victoria? I think she is stalking. <laughs> Me too. My profile pic is a ref from the Pride era. I love how expression or how, uh, how expression able they are sometimes or how, how much expression they show sometimes i think you're trying to say dude oh man um no, i know uh gravedigger jones knows of this channel but i highly recommend you guys oh i fucking love this i highly recommend you guys go check out napoleon blown apart he's a youtube channel and he does mma like documentaries he did one on pride fc and it's one of the it's one of my favorite videos on youtube david reyes i appreciate you sir i'm sorry i can't show you the fights but i'll be here commentating on them and watching with you guys i'm gonna crack open a beer in a sec just rehydrating here before the stream oh damn i'm drinking some ian j brandy apple for this occasion you know what i have japanese whiskey i have to drink i have to drink japanese whiskey for this event oh my goodness okay after our first break, I have some Toki Sun. I have some Suntory Toki Japanese whiskey, folks. That's what the fuck we're drinking for this. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, Benjamin's got you guys. Benjamin's got you guys. I don't think it was. <laughs> Sake for Sakuraba. I imagine Sakuraba's in house. I don't know they were showing the camera to a lot of people, so maybe they did show to him. But there were the one guy in the suit. I don't think was Sakuraba. Man, Sa like honestly, and Benjamin's heard me go off about this before in the stream. Sakuraba is—he's one of my as like a fan. Like he's one of my favorite fighters of all time. Like he's in my top five. He's in my top five, and he always will be. Kind of like I will always say that Gordy Howe is like one of my is in my top five favorite hockey players of all time because he changed the game. He set the records, you know, he set the records that people are breaking now. Shout out Alex Ovechkin. Um, but anyways, so the Ryzen, they're, they're doing their little intro now. They're doing a little promo intro for Ryzen 40, and then we'll get into the fights here. It's going to be a little bit of a slow start as, you know, Ryzen puts on a show, baby. My friend, it's way too late here. It's almost morning here, so I cannot watch Ryzen and Bellator side. But dude, by the time you wake up, I'll still be streaming. I'll still be streaming because... It's basically two events. So how many fights do we have on this one? We have nine fights. Then there's going to be, I believe, a two-hour break. Yeah, we'll say a two-hour, one-and-a-half-hour break. And then the next fight's a, what is it, a five-fight card? Bellator versus Ryzen. So there you go. Oh, sake. Jesus. I've actually, I have a bottle of sake as well. I... <laughs> I must be getting tired. I need I need to get some whiskey in me. But uh, yes, actually love the sake. And um, I actually went to a pretty cool liquor store recently that like they very much curate their liquor store with just really good products. And they have a whole sake wall, which is in a cooler that has these uh, has the racks that like fold kind of fold out. Um, and it's really, it's really, really cool the setup they have there. And, uh, yeah, I picked myself up a bottle of sake, which I like it. I like it, but I, I also really like rice wine, um, and, and barley wine beers and things like that. So here comes the open ceremony for the event. I cannot wait. Loki fucked up what they did matching him with Aoki. Oh man. They gave him some, they threw him to the wolves, dude. They gave him some terrible matchups. Uh, Throughout his career, early and late. Vasco, I'll see you later, buddy. I'll see you later. Just just, just take like a three, four hour nap and then join us again. Uh, enjoy, my friend. I really hope Ryzen 40 and Ryzen vs. Bellator going to be fire. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Benjamin, what's your favorite brand of sake? Or, or what's like, 
the best kind that's available to you. I'm certain it's been asked, but is there any way for us viewers to stream tonight without VPN? Depending where you are, but uh, some people in the chat can help you out. Benjamin's got your back, I think. Yeah, I'm not waiting for showtime, but uh, I, I paid the $15 uh, pay-per-view price. I understand if you guys don't want to do that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure someone can help you out in the chat. I'm watching it on the pay-per-view, so I'm sorry. I can't help you there, but I'm sure somebody here can help. Uh, Kakashi NF. What is up, Kakashi? Uh, I'm watching on fight.tv. And uh, I'm watching via pay-per-view. Benjamin, I've never tasted alcohol. No desire to drink personally. Hey, man, fair enough. Um, honestly, most of my family is, is sober as well. I'm the I'm the black sheep. I'm the black sheep of the family. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I mean, you guys, you guys are like, yeah, right. I see you with the beer every live stream. I don't drink. Uh, I don't. I don't like to get drunk. I but I do like. Oh, I do like a good whiskey. I used, I used to do a lot of winter camping in Canada. And you needed that shit to warm up uh, when you were doing winter camping, let me tell you. And then um, I've just, I really dove into the world of craft beer, both just like the industry at large, um, just really cool people. And, and my podcast is a craft beer podcast and, and hockey podcast. And yeah, anyways, that's awesome, man. Like I said, my, uh, a lot of my family is just sober, no, no desire to drink or anything like that as well. So everybody's welcome here and you guys can just watch me uh, sip down the whiskey and potentially sake as well if we break that out mountain bets thank you oh here's the opening ceremony how, how many of you like benjamin do you remember watching pride back in the day Did, or if anybody has fight pass right now do you go back and watch some of the pride events i've been re-watching a lot of the pride events and whatever ones that the ufc doesn't have on fight pass a lot of people have them on youtube so they're pretty red readily available have to see it full screen yeah dude oh i love i love this shit fireworks it's like a rave show, but we're about to see some fights, dude. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Rise in 40 folks here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. We will do live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you folks in the live chat. Rise in 40 and Rise or Bellator MMA versus Rise in later as well. All right, first two fights. Tasua Nakazawa against Yushi. And then they're good. Well, just like one championship, they're announcing all the fighters here. But as you see on screen in the ticket at the bottom screen, that will be the first one. I'm really excited for the uh, Juan, or Juan Archuleta fight. I only started watching MMA right around when Poirier fought Habib. Been obsessed ever since. Sweet, man. So that's funny because that era, that like five years is when I kind of took a break from MMA, went all in on hockey and, I mean, just college. Played video games, met a lot of girls, just like <laughs> just the college life. So I just didn't really have time for sports outside of hockey because, you know, I'm Canadian. I, I have to watch my hockey. Um, and then I, but I was like a casual fan. Like I watched, you know, all the, you know, before GSP retired, when he came back, a little bit of McGregor here and there. Um, but I was obsessed when like BJ Penn was ri was rising. That was that was the era when Anderson Silva was in his prime, when Lyoto Machida, the Brazilian Japanese karate and jiu-jitsu master, um, when when he was front kicking Randy Couture in the face. Yeah, that was like that was my prime era. And in and in that era, Pride FC was just fading. So my, and my dad just loved mixed martial arts. So like we always got pride tapes and things like that, but uh, on UFC fight pass and even on YouTube, like I said, if you want to go back and watch some, just if you're, if you're that obsessed to go back and watch old fights, dude, I highly recommend going back and watching old pride events. You can, you right. You can fast forward through some of the show stuff and just go right to the fights. Unbelievable stuff. Okay. So Ren Hiramato 
is fighting a surprise fighter here that they've been kind of waiting to unmask. X. John Dodson, baby, is on this card. Let's go. Foul one. Ryzen has the best production quality. Dude, it's up there with one championship for sure. They go balls to the wall. I've seen a few pride fights, but only the big, big ones like Vanderlei and Fyodor. Yeah. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Rampage Jackson in Prime in Pride was sick, dude. Um who else, oh, who else did I watch who was in the UFC in Pride? Just their Grand Prix were sick, especially when Dana White sent UFC fighters there. Same. I graduated about a year ago and got back into MMA really hard after. Yeah, dude. It was after it was after college when I got back into MMA, to be honest. And and honestly, when I got back into it, I went back in hard. Like listening to every podcast, like watches, you know, troll, <laughs> troll the guru as much as possible, things like that. <laughs> My first pay per view was Hendrix versus Lawler two. Since then, I've had the opportunity to train with uh, Jalen Turner, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Do you train MMA, um, striking, jujitsu? What, what's your forte? Oh, Matt Hughes, baby. He had some absolute wars with GSP and BJ Penn. Frank Trigg, Matt Sarah. I felt like the UFC was more fun back then. Fighters weren't so well rounded, and it felt like styles clashed way harder. Yeah, and that and that's what it was. But it, it evolved from that, right? Styles still can clash today, but yeah, that's not the main the main part of the sport anymore. It was it was just like the Wild West, and that's why I love Pride because like Pride didn't even care if you roared it up. If anything, they encouraged it. Now everyone is too good. Yeah, dude. Well, it's like the NHL too. I'm a huge hockey fan, right? Back in the eight, 70s, 80s, and 90s, it, it was like you go, to a, you go to a fight and a hockey game breaks out, right? That was the same. Whereas now, like, it's a, compl it's a more of a skilled game. And, and these 18-year-olds, you know, come in. There's this one kid right now in the junior leagues in Canada. In 27 games played, he has 64 points an assist or a goal. He is a goal per game. He's 17 years old. This guy's going to come into the league and be better than McDavid, better than Crosby, better than Ovet, like better than all the greats. It's crazy. Foul on X always backs out, man. <laughs> Appreciate you guys joining. This is amazing. How lucky are we? Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. He's the nicest man I felt for Riddell because I've been in the chunk before. <laughs> Even think about the NFL. Running backs are basically expected to be runners, blockers, pass catchers with a few exceptions. Dude, that's true. That's true. I'm not the biggest football guy personally, but like, yes, good points. My three favorite sports and you guys are going to find what's the common denominator between all three of them. Okay. That, that's a test for you. Let me know in the chat. Box lacrosse. Ice hockey, MMA. Can you tell I like combat sports? <laughs> Jalen's video with Cheeto today was pretty funny. Oh, I saw that. That was. I train Brazilian jiu-jitsu mostly and have been doing it for just under 13 years. I started when I was five. That's awesome, man. I did uh, Shaolin Kung Fu from like age, I don't know, seven to 14. Um... Did a lot of like sparring competitions and stuff too, which is why I have a glass chin now. It sucks and a few broken nose. Um, but anyways, uh, but yeah, then I like, I kind of just stopped doing martial arts, got into music, played a lot of guitar, toured, wrote music, recorded music, wanted to be a famous musician. Um, started jujitsu actually last summer. Um, took a break since I moved from Canada to the states. Um, and uh, just found a gym here locally in Minnesota. Shout out Southside Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, so in the new year, I'm going to be really going hard, trying to do at least like one or two classes a week. And then like ideally two classes, two roll, like open rolls. I might only be able to afford one class, one open roll a week. But uh, definitely going to at least start going all in and spend all my money right away and then... <laughs> 
<laughs> and then uh, and then train as much as I can after that. But like like I said, ideally two classes to learn, then two open rolls a week would be ideal. Uh, it's cool, but I wish I grew up when football was more raw. Well, I mean, I'm I'm lucky that I and again, hockey for me is probably like what football is to you. Like I was lucky that I grew up in a north northern British Columbia, uh, and there were just so many junior hockey teams, and it was just as violent in junior hockey. Cool, the pride screaming lady is there, one hundred percent, dude. Gravedigger Jones, that was an amazing opening ceremony. Shame that the Pride Lady wasn't here for this. Maybe she's retired, but not. That was entertaining. No, David Reyes said the, the Pride Lady was there, dude. Wondering if any shady business is going to happen. Either way, I sprinkled some underdogs. Adam Dubois, welcome to the stream, buddy. You got to sprinkle some underdogs in any league, not the UFC. You you really want to win some money? Sprinkle the underdogs in Bellator. All right, we got a little musical uh, number going on here. Christopher Martinez, what's going on, brother? I'm I I honestly I bought the pay per view uh, on Fight TV, but uh, we have a few friends in the chat here who might be able to help you out, brother. Isaiah. Good job on Robertson for getting the quick tap. Let's go, baby. All right. Ryzen 40 is about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Okay, no, she. I guess she's not in... I guess the broadcast is saying... Uh, the the pride screaming that he's not here tonight, but she might make a visual appearance. Maybe they did a little video number. I don't know what the broadcast is going off going on about. I'll look them back on the stream when they introduce the refs and judges. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe they're talking about someone else. All right, the first two fighters here making their walkout: Yushi and Nakazawa. Robertson looked great, but it was clear Rose wasn't motivated. I placed a decent bet on Robertson, so I'm happy either way. Cha-ching, baby. Foul one, I love this shit. Really brings me back to the Pride days. Dude, the Pride theme song is the greatest theme song in the world. Not just MMA, the world. All right, Nakazawa making his walkout right now. Brandor, thanks so much for joining, buddy. I made 200 bucks on Big Tuna. Knocked out his opponent on Bellator as a big underdog. Atta boy, atta boy. Forty-three years old, one and zero. Oh. Tatsuya Nakazawa, let's go, just like Pride, baby, let's go. Ah, okay, that's that's what. Okay, so making appearance on stage maybe a couple times. She's there, can't yell. I guess she's recovering from something. Yeah. Helping me put to put the pieces together. Thank you, David. All right, folks. Let's go over the fighters here. We might as well as they're making their walkout. So we have one thirty-five pounders. We have Tatsuya Nakazawa making his Ryzen promotional debut. He's forty-three years old. He's currently he's currently fought twice in pro MMA. And uh, ooh, back in 2015 and 2018, he won his first fight, lost his second in custom rules. He has had four or five amateur bouts. He has gone one, three, and one. So, oof, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, look at this crazy walkout. Look, look at this crazy walkout for Yushi. He's got like these cosplay demon girls next to him. This is so nuts. Two and one is Yushi. He's 34 years old. He's on a two-fight win streak. All of his fights have been in Ryzen. He fought at Ryzen 33, Ryzen Landmark, Volume 3, and Ryzen 37. He lost his promotional debut, but has won his last two fights. He lost his first Ryzen fight by getting soccer kicked in the face. 
He won his sec he won his second ever pro fight via knockout, and then he won his third fight via rear naked choke. Oh my goodness. I mean, Gravedigger Jones, how crazy is this? I love this. I love this. Mike Jones, what's up, Mike Jones? You have not missed any fights, brother. You haven't missed any fights. You missed the opening ceremony and the crazy walkouts. Yushi's making his walkout right now. He's got some techno music going. He's got these cosplay demon girls dancing behind him. Guys, do you remember Mayhem Miller in Pride? He was awesome as well. Mike Jones, welcome, welcome. Bling, bling. We'll get well soon, Lenny Hart. Yushi walkout, 10-8. 10-8. He's still dancing. <laughs> Two and one. 135 pounds, 34 years old. They're putting on a show for us. Why is Hideo Takoro still fighting? I don't know, man. There's a lot. Of, like, why is why is Bigfoot Silva? I mean, I, I'm glad he actually... That, that's a good thing I mentioned him, actually. Bigfoot Silva is finally hanging up the gloves. He's... He's competing in the grappling tournament coming up, but he's he's, he's not going to get knocked out anymore, folks. Don't. He's dude. His walkout is still going. This guy's like, oh my goodness. I love how the the broadcast for the fight TV by Triller is also in English too, so it's pretty good. And I mean, what a walkout, dude! This is like a boxing match walkout. Yeah. Uh, anybody, if you can help out, Brandor. Yeah, hope no one here has epilepsy. Well, that's the thing, Benjamin. You kind of have to assume if you're watching a Pride or Ryzen event, you just can't have epilepsy. Not too many blonde guys look like a fucking gangster. Mike Jones, I've missed you, buddy. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. How, how have you been, sir? How have you been? Um, after this fight, we're going to take a quick break, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some Japanese whiskey. I got what, what This is a perfect occasion. For a little Suntory Toki. You cannot get that shit at the UFC. You know, the closest thing to that in the UFC is uh, Chris Barnett. No, of, of course he went crazy. But hey, I, I'm thinking about the good times. His walkouts in Pride. His dominance in Strike Force, And MTV's Bully Beatdown. Yeah, I, I bought the, the pay-per-view on Fight.TV. It's 15 bucks. 15 bucks. And uh, the broadcast is in English. Yo, boy. All right, guys. Here we go. First fight of the night is about to begin. Grave Digger Jones in the building. We, Grave Digger Jones has been so excited for this event, much like myself. There's no cage tonight, ladies and gentlemen. There is a ring. The Ryzen ring. Yeah, Ryzen, it's it's like one championship. It's the whole fight, not round per round. Thank you so much, man. Right back at you. Right back at you, Mike Jones. How have your holidays been, buddy? Have you been busy with work or have you had some time to, uh, to hang out? I have some green Jolly Rancher moonshine my dad made. Oh, dude, my friend's dad made some awesome moonshine as well. The brain slap. This guy's straight up a, an anime character, dude. He's going to go Super Saiyan. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Let's fucking go. The arena is packed for the first fight. Americans need to be like this. Guys, it's at... It's oh yeah, it's at the old it's at the Satima Super Arena where all those amazing Pride FC fights took place. Gonna go for Yushi on the first rising bout. Me too, locking it in. Here we go. Spinning back kick attempt by Yushi. Yushi in the red corner. Nakazawa in the blue. Oh and Nakazawa just kicked Yushi in the face. Nakazawa with the... It was just like I was up 
an up soccer kick to the face. And now they clinch. Yushi getting the takedown. Yushi in Nakazawa's half guard. Been working, trying to finish up a remodel, plus the holiday so busy is an understatement. I hear you, brother. I hear you. It's good to see you, though. It's good to see you. Um, what are you remodeling? Jake, I'm going to go this one, the next one, and also Cage Warriors tomorrow, brother. Yushi, good job getting the back of Nakazawa. Dude, good Nakazawa kick Yushi in the face. Some good shots to the ear by Nakazawa and Yushi looking for that rear naked choke. Looking to flatten out Nakazawa. Lucia, L Yushi trying to stabilize the neck of Nakazawa. It's like one championship, Benjamin, but you can soccer kick in the face and knee a downed opponent. But Ryzen sometimes make up you know, there's some, there's a lot of, a lot of the times there are just like custom rules for some bouts. Like this one, this one looks to be normal. One minute, 18 seconds left. I think it's only four minute rounds. Maybe this one is because <laughs> he's fighting a 42 year old is one fight. Uh, when is Ryzen versus Bellator? Ryzen versus Bellator will be at 5 a.m. Pacific. Or sorry, 5 a.m. Eastern. Jeez. Yushi has the hooks in. He's looking for the rear naked choke. I think he's going to get it. Closing out on the neck. Has the body triangle. 45 seconds left in this first round. Good job of fighting the hands by Nakazawa. Hey, despite getting kicked in the face, Yushi's been in total control this first round. 30 seconds left. Uh, first seconds in, and we see a front kick by Nakazawa. Mike Jones, thank you so much for the super sticker, buddy. <laughs> you are far too kind, man. You are far too kind. I'm just happy you're here, buddy. Mike Jones, one of our exclusive members on the channel, donating a $2 super sticker. Thank you so much, dude. I'm going to quickly check out what this super sticker is. Last 10 seconds left. Oh, Yushi's got it. Yushi's got it. Nakazawa, can he hold on to the bell? And Nakazawa holds on to the bell and survives. Again, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. I appreciate it so much, dude. Let's see what the super sticker is. Work, 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 dude. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Um, what are you remodeling? In case I missed your comment. Again, thank you so much for the work, work, work. Super sticker, dude. Again, thanks so much, Mike Jones. One of our exclusive members on the channel. Shout out Mike Jones. Shout out Gravedigger Jones. Shout out Sean Butcher. Shout out Zuki. Shout out Ali and shout out Shane. 4 a.m. Central, 5 a.m. Eastern. I think that's it. You should try to go for some good ground and pound. Yeah, we are in between the first and second round right now. They're about to get back at it. 5 a.m. Oh, no. Jake, like we were saying, if you ain't staying up for the whole Ryzen event, use a casual. <laughs> Foul one. Elbows 12 to 6 to the back of the head are allowed too, I guess. Let's get it all. Round two. 10-8 Yushi. If that's how Ryzen scores rounds. Three three-minute rounds here. Interesting. Eight seconds in, and Yushi gets the takedown. <laughs> Nakazawa on his back. High guard here. Was shooting maybe for a triangle attempt. Yo, man, looks like a decent card. Oh, dude, it's going to be awesome. Ryzen 40 is a decent card in itself. And then Bellator versus Ryzen. We got AJ McKee, champion versus champion. Pitbulls here. It's going to be awesome. Appreciate you joining, Rogue Strummer. I mean, Benjamin, for the for the sake of just having fun throughout the stream, like let's continue, you know, we, we can continue to score around just to kind of give a... 
paint a, paint the picture of the fight, but much like one championship, it's the it's the fight in its entirety which is scored. Nakazawa hold out till the end of the first round. I really like the cross promotion. Big ups to Belter for accepting this offer. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Full mount here by Yushi. Full mount here by Yushi. This could be it. Yushi with some si shots to the side of the head of Nakazawa. Not going for the neck yet, but he's got, you know, he's hooks in. He's hooks in because he's back mounted him right now. Softening him up here. Softening him up. Yushi taking his time. Elbows, punches to the side of his head. He's still got the leg locks here on the body of Nakazawa. But yeah, Mike Jones, I want to see more of it. I want to see more of it. I want to see PFL against Bellator. I want to see one championship against PFL. Like, I want to see more of this. Uh, Justin Taffa's brother fight, brother's fight should be fun. When is he fighting? Blah, blah, blah. Let me check here. Still back mounted is Nakazawa. 41 seconds left in this second round. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice knee to the head. Nakaz uh, on Nakazawa, Yushi now bringing him back. Uh, Justin Taffa's brother. Is he fighting on... Okay, he's fighting third last fight, Junior Tafa. I'm excited for that one too. Man, and that one's right after the John Dodson fight. And second round. Let's go. And Yushi got Nakazawa pinned him down. And he got a nice knee to the face there. Benjamin 10 8. What the hell are you smoking, bro? I need some of that. No idea who this Yushi guy is, but he seems like a god. Rogue Strummer, did you see his walkout? Did you see his walkout? It was insane. It was amazing. From the play-by-play. -play. I'm liberal with 10 eights, and that choke looked close to a finish at the end of the first round, but I can totally see how anyone could disagree with it being a 10-8. If he didn't kick him in the face... But it was a pretty dominant round. Refresh, Isha. I'm 15 seconds ahead on YouTube. I did refresh. I clicked live. I clicked live. All right, round two. Let's get it all. I was a little behind there. I apologize. Two minutes and 55 seconds is what it says on my screen. I'll, I'll keep catching up with these comments, folks. Don't you worry. Oh, and on Nakazawa's entry, Yushi tagged him. They're clinched up right here, up against the ropes. Yushi, looking for that takedown again. He's got the hooks in. And in the trip takedown, and he gets it right into the half guard of Nakazawa. Oh, rogue strummer. The walkout was a 10-8. The walkout was a 10 7. Slop King. What's going on, Slop King? Unfortunately, one claims to be uninterested in doing something like that. Something like this with Ryzen or Bellator. Their CEO wants to do it only with the UFC, which will never happen. Yeah, that's the thing. Because like the UFC is never going to do it again. Because they did it with Pride back in the day and they got burned. Because <laughs> Rampage beat Chuck Liddell. His walkout was Kino, man. <clears throat> One minute and 39 seconds left in this third round. Yushi in the top position. And this is where he's been this whole fight. Laying down elbows now. I think there's an argument for a 10-8. <clears throat> I'm in your corner, Benjamin. 
Been smoking the same thing as Crosby. <laughs> What's going on with the Japanese mafia there? It's it's rising, dude. Confidence from both fighters. Nakazawa, he's a he's a tough son of a bitch. He's been just taking shots from the bottom position by Yushi. 40 seconds left. Full mount again. Oh, and some nasty elbows by Yushi. I need this man. You want to let us do big things tonight. Fight on YouTube. Fighting Federation. Let's go. Saul, Jake, good luck on that. I'm pulling for him also. I mean... That's that's where the arguments that's where the argument comes into play, right? Oh, armbar attempt in the last ten seconds. Yushi going for the armbar. Is he going to be saved by the bell again? Oh, Nakazawa refusing to tap with that armbar, and that is it, folks. It. It is no, fair enough, Mike Jones, and that I mean, even even uh, even our boy Benjamin said that like there, there's totally an argument, and he can totally see why. Someone didn't give him a, wouldn't want to give him a 10-8 there. I can see, I could see judges throwing it both ways just because, yeah, that's probably the reason why he, it wouldn't be because he did do damage there and he, he rocked him a hundred percent. Put it this way. If it was, if it was a five minute round, then I think that it's more of an argument for a 10-8 in that first, just because there has been, there was more dominant time, more dominant control time and just strikes from the top. But hey, fair enough. You're right. The elbows were nice. The elbows were nice. Um, and he had pride, rise, and lost money. He borrowed from that one deadliest member of the Yakuza. Nakazawa had some serious heart. Hundred percent. Was he? Was he forty-three years old? Fight is over. Damn it, he is tough as nails, but all depends on the judging. I mean, there's no way the judging is the judge is gonna give this to Nakazawa. Yeah, Yushi wins this fight. Third win of his or of his mixed martial arts career, you know. Hey, he fought a guy with a lot of heart, but uh I guess you gotta cr crush a couple cans on your way up. Shit, that Brady hit or Brandy hit me hard. Pace yourself; it's gonna be a long night, Grave Digger. <laughs> no, Isha, don't give in to the chat. Stand strong against that ten eight. Not a debate. Only a blind judge judge gives that a ten eight. Only Doug Crosby gives that a ten eight. Yushi won. What the heck are those skirts? Dude, it's Japan, man. It's a show. Man, this arena is packed right now. This is amazing. Well, and there we have it. Our first fight. Our first fight on this New Year's Eve <laughs> New Year's Eve Ryzen card. Ryzen 40. And then we have Ryzen versus Bellator. The main card of this whole event here. So excited to be streaming for you guys. Like and subscribe. We have a ton of fights coming up on this channel. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Love the interaction already, folks. And again, a big shout-out to... One of our exclusive members, Mike Jones, for already hitting me up with the $2 super sticker. The work, work, work super sticker. Appreciate you, buddy. And again, a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays to everybody in the chat here. Hey, Ben. It's Flair, bro. I love the man. <laughs> All right, folks. Keep the comments coming. Keep the comments coming. I appreciate it. Love hanging out and interacting with you folks. 
All right, just going to update the ticker and the graphic on the screen here. All right. So Noah Bay is going to be fighting Shu Sho Patrick Usami. Man, the intros are just awesome. Can't wait for the next walkout. And that's what makes this just so much fun, the broadcast of of Ryzen. Some good music, too, that they're playing in the broadcast. Never knew they used the young folks. Yeah, I didn't either, but it's good, good tunes. What's up, Soto? What do you think about these ring card girls, bro? I think Japanese girls are cute. Um, that's a good question. So Tapology doesn't really have any of them listed as prelims. So I don't know, to be perfectly honest. It it Ryzen 40 just says it's a nine card bout. So I guess nine prelims. <laughs> no, they're not prelims, just rise and 40. I guess the first, uh, I would say the first two are considered prelims because they're two guys who just like don't have a lot of fight record or don't have a lot of fights under their belt and have, you know, small records. And then, you know, the, all the all the guys and gals after that are, are experienced and have pretty big records and are ranked. So I imagine that that there's two prelims again, but just... On their website and on Tapology right now, it just says everything's a main event. And after Rise and 40, after this nine card fight, there will be a break. It's going to be about an hour or two hour break. And then Bellator versus Rise and will begin. Dana needs to take notes. Yo, get your waifu Brody. One and two versus five and one. I wonder how this fight is going to go. Might be an upset, Benjamin. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm using right now as well. All right, here we go. Who's walking out first? Show Patrick Usami's walking out first. <laughs> Look, looks like he's in a Nelk video. <laughs> Is the young twenty-two-year-old not as? Uh, let's let's put it this way. Very very com very composed, getting into the music here versus uh, Yushi, who was who put on an absolute theatric, amazing show. All right, show Patrick who saw me. He is five and one, four and one. Four people on my group message talking about hockey. Four and one in his last five fights. His nickname is The Savage. One and oh in Ryzen. Before Ryzen, he's fought in Shuto and VTJ. Also a promotion called Pound Storm. He made his Ryzen debut. He made his Ryzen debut against uh, a guy who was 20, 12, and 3. And won via TKO in the third round at Ryzen 39. He is back two months later, Ryzen 40, to take on Noah Bay. Looking at his opponent, Noah Bay, the Black Panther. Uh, he's American, but trains out of the or out of Tokyo, Japan. 27 years old. He is one and two in Ryzen. And he has lost his last two kickboxing matches as well. So he's primarily a kickboxer and has transitioned recently to MMA. 
walking out in his gi is Noah Bay. Um, I'm going with Usami. I'm going with Usami for this one. The the guy who's more experienced in MMA. Oh, Noah Bay doing a kata on his walkout. Yeah, going through his kata as he walks out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's getting a little warm up as he makes his walkout. Uh, it says Bellator versus Rise and starts at 8.30 p.m. Uh, that is if you want to watch it tape delay on Showtime. Everyone in the fight chat are crazy. I don't have the fight chat up. You saw me walking out like a SoundCloud rapper. Yep. <laughs> this guy's real Americanized. Yeah. Oh, look at this. A kata and dance now. Okay, well, hey, Noah Bay is doing a little bit of a little bit of a routine here. Oh, now they're removing his his gi. Oh, they just they 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 stripped off his gi. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, the, this just it's so crazy the walkouts, man. I love them. It's wild the difference in levels between the bottom and the top of this card. Satoshi versus Maki is a super high tier lightweight fight. No, absolutely. No way Black Panther's losing this walkouts. <laughs> yeah, guys, we got we got to I love how we have we have to compare walkouts with every fighter. We have to. Refresh, bro. Clicking doesn't always work. Dude, I'm watching it on Fight TV right now. So, yeah, it's, it's it is what it is, brother. It is what it is. Wiggle, wiggle. So, who do I have, Isha? Oh, I am. I'm going with the 22 year old, uh, Show Patrick Usami, locking it in. I might go for Usami. Fuck a delay. Dude, right? I, I can't believe Showtime couldn't figure it out to just broadcast it live. It makes no sense. Um, if you're in the United States and you want to watch it on Fight TV, hey, Jason Herzog is the is the ref, is a ref in Ryzen right now. Um, if you want to watch it through Fight TV, you just have to get a, a VPN. 10-7 Black Panther. <laughs> I mean... It was a pretty bad SoundCloud rapper walkout. <laughs> nice shorts. <laughs> now I want to root for the Black Panther. He wins the walkout. 10 5, y'all swayed me. <laughs> that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Looney, so are the fights going on or what? Yes, they are, Looney. We are on the second fight of the Ryzen 40 card. David Herzog gets around. He's one of my favorite refs. Beltran, Herzog. They're probably my favorite two right now. Although Beltran was um, had some health issues and had to get surgery, so he hasn't been reffing for a while. All right, they're being announced in the center of the ring. The straight line walkouts kind of beats UFC walkouts. Oh, 100%. It beats it by a long shot. Okay, I thought you were on YouTube like you. No, sorry, bro. Um, I paid for the whole pay-per-view so I could watch beginning to end Ryzen 40 all the way to the Bellator one. I'm not sure how much is going to be uh, shown on YouTube, so I just was like, you know what? I'll pay the $15. Fuck it. We'll do it. Merry Christmas present to myself. One of the most legit refs, bro. 100%. The feds killed free streams, but I got backups for days. There you go, Mike Jones, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I 
I was watching man's MC and Belchan play a biker gang leader, dude. Dude is acting now. That's awesome. All right, round one. Let's get it all. Do you have to use a VPN since you're Canadian? Uh, if I'm in Canada, I don't. But uh, I'm visiting some, well, extended, uh, extended vacation here in Minnesota right now. So I'm currently in the United States. So I had to use a Canadian VPN. Oh, nice switch kick. All right, so this one, three five-minute rounds, folks. Walk off. Am I that behind? Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. Forty-five seconds. Okay, so I was ten seconds behind you guys. Holy fuck. Well, we picked the right guy. God damn, he knocked him out cold. You know what? Screw his uh, walkout now. His walkout's fine. You can have a shitty walkout if you throw short left hooks and send your opponent to the shadow realm. Oh my goodness. Look at the finish it. And it's all over. Oh. Oh my goodness. And the Black Panther is still out. Okay, he's finally coming to right now. And he gets a little trophy there. All right, we're looking at the replay right now. Da jab, jab, and boom, left hook. Holy shit. That was bad. Black Panther getting that nap we're all wanting right now. He is out. Oh, my God. 2-0 predictions for Gravedigger Jones. What a KO, says Zionist. Told you, bro. Switch, you're going to see spoilers. Bro, the stretchers. Show Patrick Usani is fucking out of here. Hey. Like I said, I, I don't think anyone knew that it was going to be on YouTube for free, so it is what it is. I care, I care way less about paying for the sports I like than you folks. You guys think I'm crazy. I would rather reliability. <laughs> Getting the audience into this. Are you guys entertained? Yeah, it is annoying it's a little behind. It could just be my internet, too, because I'm, uh, I am streaming right now. A few devices going, the whole nine yards. Blind kicks lead to knockouts, bro. I don't think fighting is for this guy. <laughs> I mean, Black Panther is knocked out like his box office numbers. I like the skirts the girls are wearing. <laughs> My jaw is still dropped. Only the first two fights are free on YouTube, right? I have no idea what's free on YouTube, folks. I had no idea that Ryzen was even streaming it on YouTube, which is, you know, why I prepared ahead of time for the whole whole card. But so uh, I hope you guys can watch, you know, quite a few on YouTube. Last fight, five fights are not on YouTube. There you go, Mike. I mean. Mike Jones, what would we, what have we been doing without you? It's been chaos without you. Great fights. Savage as fuck. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck, it might be almost time for another brewski. Or what I say, maybe some uh, Japanese whiskey. All right, folks. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. And we'll get right back to it. And the graphic, of course, on the screen. Wow, that was a quick one. I mean, either that 22-year-old's got some crazy power or the, the, the kickboxer, the Black Panther, has been hit in the face a little too many times. All right, folks. Shout out to everyone joining us live here. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Join our live chat here. We have a great fight community and we're... Really excited to be 
watching this Ryzen 40 and also Bellator versus Ryzen. It's been a busy few days of Fight Companions on this channel. And you know what? So excited because there wasn't much last week. And I took a little time to hang out with some friends during the Christmas break. And we only got to do one Muay Thai stream. So really excited to be back. What is it now? We've done, this is the third stream in a row. We got two more scheduled for the weekend. Obviously, Bellator vs. Ryzen in a few hours. And then tomorrow around noon, we have Cage Warriors, UK vs. USA. And then after that, I'm drinking with the boys. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, here. Do, 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 do. Chaos, baby. Chaos. Someone buy me a brew. Isaiah Villa, where are you located again? <laughs> I'll buy you a brew if we ever meet, buddy. There's a star that gets me super excited anymore. Like, I was a fan during the Connor era, and we would never see anything like that. I have a few guys who I, like, really, really follow, but... I wouldn't say that they're like star power like like Connor were. Like, you know, I really love Volkanovsky. I really like Benil Dariush, and I'm a huge fan of Charles Oliveira. But like, I'm not, but they're not like showmen. You know what I mean? There's very few of those type of like fighters these days, especially in the UFC. I'm back, brother, a bit late. No worries, brother. I'm good to, it's good to see you. Black Panther's walkout lasted longer than his fights. Dude, I know. I'm in Texarkana, Texas right now, but I'm from California. Well, I'm from the West Coast of Canada, so hey, maybe, maybe the next time. And I, you know, I... I've been doing some work for people in California, so if, if, if it... If our paths cross on the West Coast someday, brother, I got a beer for you. Uh, we have Shiro Suzuki. He is here. He is making his walkout right now. Let's highlight the fighters here, folks. Shihiro Suzuki, 23 years old, 9-3 and three pro MMA Record, he is four and one in his last five fights. 23 years old, five foot eight inches, 145 pounds. Four and one in Ryzen, five and two in Pancras. <laughs> and that's all I have on him. Looking at his opponent, Yoshiki Nakara. 17 and 5. He's also on a four fight win streak. Five, four and one in his last five fights. 30 years old. 5'7, 104, uh, 145 pounds. Three and one in one championship. Two and oh in rising. He's currently on a four fight win streak. Two of those were in one championship. Two of those were in rising in one championship. He won via KO, won via a legal kick, won, and then in his first Ryzen fight, won via decision, and in his second Ryzen fight, won via soccer kick. He's taking on Chihiro Suzuki. I'm going with uh, Nakahara, locking it in. I like Canada. Hey, Canada's awesome, man. I like Canada too. Oh, Canada, baby. Cali, where it at? If anyone gets the reference, it's good to see a fan. My Hero Academia. That's a, an anime, right? <laughs> My Lord and Robertson showed up for y'all. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Got a plug in the chat machine, but I'm still watching. Mike Jones, it's good to see you again. Like I said, brother, it's been a couple of weeks. I'm glad you've been. I'm. I'm glad uh, it's been a productive holidays. 
but I hope I hope you get some time to relax soon. First fight of the night or nah, third fight of the night, brother. Third fight of the night. Isaiah Villa, one championship is so legit. I plan on fighting there eventually. I, dude, Isaiah, I hope you get there because we'll be here cheering you on, brother. And I love one championship as well. I can't wait to see a soccer kick. It's been too long. Yep. We need more people in here. Like, dang. I think once the broadcast stops on YouTube, people will flood over here. I go lock for Nakahara. Next fight. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Sorry, I'm talk my energy level is still high, folks. I promise. I'm just talking a little quieter because like my roommates are upstairs and we're gonna be up all night watching fights and I don't want to keep them up all night. We'll be rooting for you, man. Yes, we will, Isaiah. Yes, we will. All right, one last time, folks. Yoshiki Nakahara, 17 and 5, 30 years old, fought in one championship, 2 and 0 in Ryzen, up against the young 23 year old Chihiro Suzuki, who is 9 and 3. He's fought both in Ryzen and Pancreas. So both of them have fought in legit promotions out east. I'm going with Nakahara, though. Grave Digger Jones has, al has also locked it in. Uh, Narashi, what's up, Narashi? When does this event start? It has started, my man. It has started. We are. This is the third fight. We are two fights in. The third fight is about to begin. Now, thank you for. I mean, your ongoing support for the channel, man. <laughs> like we said, it was chaos without you. All right, being announced in the ring. That's right, no cage in the ring because this is Ryzen. This is Japanese MMA, baby. All right, and the Ryzen green gloves. I always love taking, this is how much of an MMA nerd I am, I always love taking note of the the gloves in every promotion. 10 8 Chiro for being able to get that tone on the Asian hair. All right, good sportsmanship by these guys. They, they already touched gloves. They go back to their corner, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen, round one. Third fight of the evening. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And the young Suzuki, a lot taller than Nakahara. Five eight. Nakahara apparently is five seven, but I mean, damn, Suzuki looks like he has a few inches on Nakahara. Nakahara in the red corner. Suzuki in the blue. Suzuki's in the red shorts. Nakahara in the black. Nakahara has his knees wrapped. No problem, buddy. Welp, YouTube is done. Chihiro is huge. Hey, Benjamin, if you ask nicely, <laughs> Mike Jones will probably help you out, buddy. One minute into this first round. Nakahara trying to get into the pocket there as he keeps throwing one twos, but he's not really hitting anything. And there he goes again with that one two right left. Mostly the same as Pride gloves, which is more safer than UFC Fairtex gloves because it prevents eye gouging. And they clinch. Oh, a knee to the body on Suzuki. Clinched up against the ropes right now. Nakahara has. The body lock. Tried for a sweep takedown there. Shout out to everybody joining. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat. Live play by play. Live commentary. Live reaction. And most importantly, live interaction with all you folks in the live chat. Fighting for the takedown is Nakahara. Good defense by Suzuki as Suzuki's not allowing him to trip him up and throw him to the canvas. I'll be back in a bit. Got to do some things. No worries, brother. I'll see you in a little bit here. 
Average fight fan, just sub my man. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs> Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and welcome to this fight community that we're building on this channel. Shoulder strikes by Suzuki. Corner of the ring. A knee by Suzuki. Nakahara using whatever leverage he can to try to bring Suzuki to the ground. They're still clinched up in the corner of the ring. And a, I mean, great takedown defense by Suzuki. No, oh, and a decent, a pretty good judo throw by Nakahara. But Suzuki right back up to his feet. Two minutes left in this first round. They're separated back in the middle of the ring now. Oops. Usami sent the Black Panther to the Shadow Realm. Usami won. Usami won. A hook from hell. Oh, and a one, two. Nakahara. He tagged Suzuki there and sent him back. Nakahara with the left. Nakahara throwing some bombs. He smells blood. Yes, sir. It's fun. I appreciate you, man. We do these every week. We do up to five every week. Minimum of two, though. And Nakahara, he seemed to hurt Suzuki there. One minute, 28 seconds left. Nakahara going in and out of the pocket here. Throwing bombs when he's swinging, though. Oh, and Suzuki there. He landed one on Nakahara, but Nakahara's landed some good shots. Victor, thank you for joining again, brother. Oh, a one-two on Suzuki. Now one landed. Nakahara landing on Suzuki. Overhand left. Opportunity by Nakahara. That didn't land. A one-two and another left hook. Nakahara's found his timing now, folks. He's found his timing. He's, he's found his range. Even his jabs are getting through. 51 seconds left. I appreciate you all joining on the channel. We do Fight Companions every single week. Live fight, commentary, reaction, and most importantly, interaction for all you folks. That left hand is finding its home on Suzuki's face all day, every day. 34 seconds left in this first round. Again, shout out to our exclusive members and Mike Jones for the $2 super sticker. Work, 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 baby. Oh, and Suzuki with a one-two combo. And he's hurt Nak Nakahara. Oh, it's Suzuki just knocked out Nakahara. It is Suzuki. Oh, 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 After Suzuki taking a beating by Nakahara, Nakahara gets knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Cripple him. Bro, I'm down bad right now. Can you animate Stickman or some shit on what's happening? <laughs> you think I can fucking anim animate Stickman? I have no idea how to do that shit. What a battle. Oh. Suzuki just knocked out a seasoned fighter. Yeah, Gravedigger, we're both 2-1 in our predictions right now. Wow, the young 23-year-old. That was a big step up in competition. He is now 10 and 3 in pro MMA. Display of respect. And Nakahara still can't even stand up. Suzuki was on the back burner, lands two hooks there, a combo. Oh, a left hook, a right, and he was out. That was a war indeed, brother. Oh man, right on the right on the button, and he was out. I like how most of the KOs in Ryzen is just flopping face first to the floor, while one FC it's like pure fencing positions, like every organization got their signature KO pose, dude. What a great observation. Crippled Ham. Love the name. Love the profile picture. Suzuki looks a little like Filthy Frank. Oh, shout out to Filthy Frank. Loved that YouTube channel. The pink man or the pink man when he goes into McDonald's. Can I get a hamburger, please? <laughs> All right, talking to the audience right now is Suzuki. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and the and the graphic on the screen here, folks. Again, keep the comments coming, folks. 
comment driven live stream absolutely love the interaction with you folks if you're new to the channel we do multiple fight companions every single week live play by play live commentary live reaction and most importantly live interaction with all you amazing folks like i said in the live stream or the live chat on the live stream all right lightweights again next folks i'll update the graphic here Luis Gustavo against Johnny Case Brazilian against American here folks in the lightweight division and we'll go over both of the fighters and highlight them in just a moment's time but until then we're going to keep interacting in the live chat big nose you so can someone help him out can someone help him out I'm watching on fight tv Is anyone else disappointed? Uh, Lenny Hart is not announcing tonight. Yeah, so they, they made a note about that at the beginning of the event. Uh, she's there. She's in attendance, but uh, apparently having some health issues and um, just can't you know work the event tonight. But feeling healthy enough to be there. But I think... Uh, but yeah, they said she might like she'll make an appearance. She'll probably be interviewed and things like that. But uh, wishing her all the best. Ryzen is crazy. If they get to do one FC against Ryzen, I hope they get the rights to Pride FC's theme for one night only. Dude, it's so funny you say that. I listen to Pride FC's theme like before I work out, when I need a little extra motivation in the morning. You know, when you're taking that just satisfying, you know, midday poop. You just put on the the ride or the Pride FC theme song. You're just buzzing, man. You're just buzzing. Uh, oh my God, this. How are we rating this uh, walkout, folks? <laughs> Where can we watch? Uh, I'm watching uh, Fight TV by Triller, brother. I don't even get it. So the Bellator stream is delayed. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm watching all on fight.tv, so I do not have to watch on the stupid showtime delay. Big nose Liu. Did Yoshiki win? Yoshiki lost. He got knocked out. Bellator vs. Ryzen is at 5 a.m. Eastern. So, I don't want to fight professionally, but refing is what I'm getting into, and the goal is to ref in Japan. Dude, well, that's awesome, and I hope you get to do so. Is this one of the fighters, or is this just like a performance? This might just be like a you know an intermission performance. I thought this was the fighter's walkout for a second. I was like, wait, it's a Brazilian and an American. This guy's neither. Or maybe he's both. But that's awesome, David. Just a suggestion. Japanese Twitter is uploading clips second after it happened. So even if we don't watch it live, no worries. The Japanese got us on Twitter. I mean, I am way too lazy to throughout these live streams clip up twitter clips for all you guys but hey i'm glad that they're doing that i'm glad they're doing it because one championship does that as well so someone's got to be on it someone's got to be on it crippled ham and i appreciate you joining here brother this performance has less energy than the walkouts He's walking into the ring now. <laughs> oh, pride, baby. Oh, pride. Who's rapping? I can't see him. I don't know who he is. He's a guy with... Uh, he's taken over the ring. I don't know who this guy is, but he's just taken over the ring. He's wearing all camo. He's got... Some... 
like golden sunglasses. I wish I had subtitles on right now. Can I even put subtitles on? No, I can't. God damn it. Wait, maybe I can. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry, bro. I had to buy it. None of these sites I checked have it. Looks like Isha's going to get a shitload of people in a few. <laughs> Tonight's event seems a little flat in comparison to Ryzen 20 New Year's event. Well, it's just starting. It's just starting. And I think once they go to the Bellator versus Ryzen, it's just going to go insane. But hey, I didn't watch the 20 New Year's event, so maybe it is compared to that one. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? This guy's saying, I have an announcement. This guy's saying, I quit K1. Okay, so he's a K1 guy. So he's not a rapper. He's a K1 fighter. Saying in 2023, I'll fight in Ryzen. So that was an extravagant announcement. Does anyone in chat have a plan for streaming Ryzen versus Bellator later? Uh, again, if you go to fight.tv and you get the pay-per-view, you can watch both live. And if it doesn't show up, you just need a VPN and uh, get, an I get Canadian IP. Okay, so he's calling someone into the ring right now. Okay, so a little bit of a, a little bit of a show drama right here. As a, a K1 guy has now joined Ryzen. Calling out his opponent. <laughs> oh, camo joke. <laughs> this dude's nickname is Catfish, which is why there is a CGI catfish swimming around on the screen. Ah, okay. Thank you, Slob King, for the, uh, the context. I think the only reason it's flat is because both promotions are saving their best fighters for the collaboration. That uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. He's a fighter. Well, and he's a rapper. He's both. He's both now, and they're 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 both dropping f bombs at each other. It's like fifteen bucks. 15 bucks American. No, 15 bucks Canadian. Uh, I won't get Bellator versus Ryzen until tomorrow on Showtime via tape delay. Average fight fan, if you go to fight.tv and use a VPN for Canada, you can watch it live, brother. That's what that's what we're doing here. Well, these guys are getting in each other's face. Security had to come in. What rules do you want, fish face? Do you want kickboxing or MMA? <laughs> fish face. I'm not scared of fish. Oh! And it, the rapper went to kick. He said, come at me, bro. And he, he went to kick the guy he called into the ring. Am I watching WWE? <laughs> Benjamin, highly recommend you check out, uh, I think you dig this, brother. Uh, check out Na Napoleon Blown Apart's YouTube channel and check out his uh, documentary he did on 1FC. One, one un or sorry, not 1FC, uh, Pride FC. It gives a little context of how there's, there is a little Japanese wrestling intertwined in with the promotion. There always will be. And obviously that carried over to Ryzen. Get them some gloves and let them sort this out. <laughs> what the fuck? We had a rap show. Okay, back to fights here, folks. Back to fights here. Koji, that's his name. Uh, this is my first Ryzen event. And I would say it's like if a Dr. Frankenstein pride FC with a grain of meth and cocaine. 
<laughs> and, I'm, and crippled ham, I'm fucking here for it. And I love it. Um, What's the one I'm using? I'm using Express. But if someone else has a different one, by all means... There you go. Gravedigger has one as well. By the way, shout out to all of our exclusive members on the channel. Mike Jones, Gravedigger, Sean Butcher, Shane Van Nice, Ali, and Zuki. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. All right, folks. Let's highlight the fighters here. We have Luis Gustavo against Johnny Case. Luis Gustavo out of Brazil. 26 years old. He's 12 and 2. Three wins, two losses in his last five fights. Four and two in Ryzen, three and two in Cantana fight. His last two fights have come in Ryzen. Ryzen trigger third, Ryzen 38, both of which being in 2022. Gustavo's opponent, Johnny Case, 27, nine and one, guys. Johnny Hollywood Case, 33 years old. Four and two in the UFC, three and three in Rise and Draw in the PFL. He won his last boxing match, but is on a two fight losing streak in MMA in Ryzen. Before losing those two fights in Ryzen in MMA, he was on a three fight win streak in boxing. And before going on his actually three fight MMA. Losing streak in Ryzen. He was on a three fight winning streak when he entered the promotion, coming off his draw in the PFL in 2018. So, Johnny Case on the whew, not doing too good as of late, but did fight in the UFC back in the day. So, he is experienced. Whereas Luis Gustavo, mostly just Ryzen. Oh, and you know what, folks? I think the bout order has changed, so my apologies. I'm going to quickly... This is the first uh, bout that has not been in the order that has been presented on Tapology. So my apologies for that, folks. My apologies for that. Unless there was a... Unless there was a change here, so we'll see. Maybe, maybe someone had to fill in. Anyways, we shall see. We shall see. Johnny Case got a chance. He looks beefy. <laughs> Nord VPN's good. Crazy knockouts, man. Johnny Case equals Gordon Ryan, light, zero calories. Oh, wow. Did anyone see that picture? <laughs> okay, so Johnny Case is fighting next. It looks like this guy's filling in for Luis Gustavo. So Luis Gustavo apparently pulled out. So, yeah, bout canceled prior to event. What the heck? So there's not a fill-in. So someone filled in for Johnny Case. All right, well, anyways, I want to keep this up here anyways, folks. And I'll update the guy's name in, on, on the ticker on the bottom of the screen. So I'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Okay, so now they're talking about on the on the broadcast. Originally supposed to fight Gustavo, but he had to pull out. Johnny Case could care less who he fights, though. So Nubits, Nubitsu Osawa is who is filled in for him who made the walkout first. So my apologies for that. Anyways, we'll keep that up on the screen. Ticker is updated. There we go. The XK1 dude's opponent was pretty much calling him a shit fish in Japanese. <laughs> 
This is Tyson versus Case. Oh, well. Um, but why is this all messed up? Anyways, Tapology didn't uh, didn't update this in time. But that's okay. That's okay. I will adjust the ticker in just a moment. Gonna go for Johnny Case because I used to go for Brazilian. Well, the Brazilian's not fighting. Uh, Tapology just hasn't updated their site since the canceled bout. It would have been nice to see Gustavo fight tonight. <laughs> Ryzen's gloves might be dangerous as hell. The amount of KO potential produced by these lightweight guys are crazy. Heavyweights might even be CTE bound. Gordon Liu, I'm watching on fight.tv, brother. They did tap topology updated it now. All right, let's see. Let's see. I don't see it though. I will update on the ball on the screen. 33 years old, 27 and 9. All right. Oh, okay. This is the right guy. I had it right. <laughs> Tyson's just his nickname. Bum, ba -dum, bum. All right, here we go. Round one. Let's get it all. 155ers, Johnny Case against Tyson Osawa. So Japanese filled in for the Brazilian. Gustavo, nice jab by Johnny Case. I'll catch up on the comments in just a moment here, folks. Oh, and Johnny Case knocks down Tyson. Tyson's going down, and that's it. Look at the it's all over. Done. Done. Johnny Case in what, 15 seconds? No. Oh. Well, didn't even need to have it on screen long, folks, because, oh my goodness, does Johnny Case, his opponent is still laying on the ground next to him, and the ref's lifting up his arm. Johnny Case is the winner. Oh my goodness, folks. Well, the card's starting to pick up now. Poor guy filling in short notice. And gets absolutely rocked. Wow. Well, USA. USA. Excellent performance by the American out of the gate there. My goodness. All right, folks. I'll catch up on your comments in just one second here. I just want to actually update the ticker with the right names. Boom. Here we go. The American just, he's just thanking everybody right now. Since it was on a three fight losing streak, it's not easy to come out here after that. Gordon Liu, if you're in the United States, you have to use a Canadian VPN, then you'll access the Bellator versus Ryzen. If you're in Canada, then you're Gucci. Terry Crow, fight.tv. <laughs> Lick Missack, there you go. Gordon Liu, I, I, like I just said, buddy, you get a Canadian VPN and you can watch the whole thing. Crippled ham, you, dude, you did, you called it, buddy. Easy win for Johnny Case, 3-1 predictions.
That was nasty. That was nasty, bro. Tyson is heading to the River Styx. His opponent is going to be humiliated if his fight is the only one uploaded for free in a few hours' time. <laughs> oh, mouth guard gets knocked out and just so much ground and pound. Damn, I, sh I hope that short notice payday was worth it for Tyson. That was a total mismatch. Gustavo would have been a better match. Well, absolutely. A hundred percent, you know. Tyson came in short notice. I don't even need to bring him in my boat. There's folks carrying him for me. <laughs> Rogero Bonterran's first fight outside the UFC is up next. Really don't know what to expect. If this was 2004, I would have sent in Shinei Yoki. <laughs> he just fought in uh, one championship, actually. Didn't look so good. But that's why, yeah, he said in 2004. Oh, my goodness, folks. Oh, my goodness. Um, like Benjamin pointed out, Rogero Bontorin, it's his first fight outside the UFC. We will highlight both of these fighters in just a moment's time. Big knows you. What's the start time in the USA? Uh, Eastern time, 5 a.m. Yeah, thank you so much, Lick Missack, for helping everyone in the chat find a, find a stream so they can watch along with us. All right, folks, I'm going to take my first quick break of the night. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The fighters are being introduced before they make their walkouts. I'm going to be back for the walkouts because I want to rate the walkouts. We'll come back. We'll rate the walkouts. We'll, we'll highlight the fighters. We'll review them. I'll give my prediction, and then I want to hear yours. Uh, Bob, please help me. I'm trying to watch the John, the John Dodson fight. I went to Fight TV, but there are no streams. Where'd you exactly fight it? Find it. Fight.tv, bro. I paid $15 for the pay-per-view, or you can scroll up in this chat as the man Lick My Sack has helped us all out. Can you tell that I haven't like actually said you like it fully through? I break it down. Lick my sack, not lick my sack. <laughs> Who's the other one? We have another one with uh, the name, and it, it I've, I've I think I fell for it once. Um. Oh, what is it? I forget. I forgot who the person is, and like they just they'll never change it. They'll never change it, and I love it. Just scroll up in the in the chat, Bob. Uh, Boteran's last fight was a decision loss to Brandon Roy Vell about 11 months ago. See if he can rebound. The rise in president's going to be drowning in medical bills, seeing the amount of concussed fighters just in the last three fights. Hey, Yakuza money, baby. Oh, God, this is an insane record. I hate to say it, but I'm going to go for Yuki Motoya locking it in. <laughs> Okay, okay, they're making their walk. I'm not going to take a break. I was going to take a quick break. I ain't taking a quick break. We'll do it on the next one. All right, no theatrics. No theatrics for the Brazilian here as he makes his walk out. Bontorin making his walk out 17 and 4. I mean, fight pass says he, he's 17, 4, and oh. He is 2 and 3 in his last five fights. He's 30 years old. As the chat said, his last fight was 11 months ago. 3 and 3 in the UFC, 1 and 0 coming off contender series. He beat Matt Snell, lost to Brandon Roy Val, before then lost to Kai Kara France and Ray Borg. So, like, solid fighters, solid fighters. Uh, beat. Rolian Paiva and Magobed Bibutalov in the UFC. And he beat Gustavo Gabriel on Dana White's Contender Series. Interested to, see, interested to see how he fares now in Ryzen. His opponent, Yuki Motoya, 32, 10 and 0, 33 years old, 4 and 1 
in his last five fights and he's walking out to Eminem. If you had <laughs> one shot and one opportunity, uh, nine, five, and one in Ryzen, that one being a no contest, 23 and four in deep fighting championship. My goodness. He is on a four-fight win streak, like I mentioned, in Ryzen right now. Bef wow. I mean, this guy puts together win streaks, man, throughout his entire career. He's got he's got a lot of miles on him, but only a couple years older than Batorin. I'm going for... I'm going to go against the grain here. I'm going against Gravedigger Jones' grain here. I'm going with the former UFC fighter. Locking it in. Cool. Based on the body build alone, Rogero got a chance if he just don't let this guy get into ground and pound. Awesome walkout song. Probably one of the biggest Eminem fans in the world. I have his biography. I love Eminem. Always interesting to see how UFC slash Bellator fighters adapt in different rule sets. When did you become an MMA fan? 1999 for me. I've been an MMA fan my whole life because my dad was into it since the beginning. So I was born in 93. And literally the year that I was born, he was watching, you know, the UFC 1, 2, and 3 in the first, you know, the, the first ever and you know, UFC events. And then he watched it evolve. And I kind of just was around watching it evolve with my dad growing up. I did martial arts as a kid. So when I started watching it like myself and seeking it out myself outside of just watching with my dad was probably, and I'm 29 years old, was probably 2000 and 2004, 2000. And, yeah, probably 2004 is when I was really like seeking it out and I would buy the DVDs or, or VHSs. We'd rent them from like Blockbuster. All right, fighters are being announced here in the ring. Lick is the man. <laughs> all right, round one. Let's get it all! Piotr Jan smiling once he transfers from UFC to Bellator and realizes he can soccer kick in any Japanese cross promotion. Dude, why would he even go to Bellator? He's going to go to Ryzen. He's going to Ryzen or one. Especially with like training a Tiger Muay Thai. He's, 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 got a, he's got an in in one championship. And he can fight Muay Thai if he wants in one as well. It's about to hit 1 a.m. where I'm at too, brother. Clinching right now is Motaya. Batorin. Holding Matoya up against the ropes. Many many fighters are used to the cage instead of the ring. That's awesome. I always like knowing when people discovered this amazing sport. Thank yeah. Hey, I love telling the story, and I love that too, man. I love this amazing sport. Bontorin still pushing Matoya corner of the ring. And the official separates them. Three minutes and 38 seconds left in this first round. Body kick by Matoya. Bontorin with the left hook. Matoya walking in with a few combos here. Matoya with a kick and left Hook and Bontorin pushing Motoya up against the ropes and trying to land some shots on the exit. Is it illegal, though, to use the ropes as leverage for any submission? I don't think it's illegal, but again, I haven't seen enough to be able to comment on that. Let me know in the live chat or let, uh, let Crippled Ham know in the live chat if that's illegal or not. Mixed 
Montoya still pushed up against the corner of the cage here. And here we go. Oh, I thought Bor I thought Bontorin was gonna break there and maybe go for an elbow or something. Wrist control. Wrist control. Knees by Motoya. And the official was asking them for action when he was pinned up against the rope. Bontorin was maybe trying to go for a takedown there. Motoya, good takedown defense here as Bontorin's really trying to now. He's got the hooks in. He was trying to sweep that right leg of Motoya there. Two minutes left in the first round. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you haven't already, folks. If you dig these fight companions, we we do multiple fight companions every single week. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction. Ref separates them again. One minute, 42 seconds left in the first round. Bon Torin, kind of sloppy on his entries, but now he's in the tie clinch. Motoya's in the tie clinch. And Bon Torin trying to get the level change to go for the takedown. Just can't quite get his Motoya. He knows his game plan. He's not allowing him to take him to the ground. Bon Torin pushing Motoya up against the corner of the, of the ring. You think the Ryzen fighters are on the secret juice? <laughs> Uh, I think some of the Ryzen fighters are probably on the secret juice. That's how Paulo Costa is making his money outside the UFC. Some body kicks by Montoya. I tried to look at the rules for Ryzen FF and the results for it were from Reddit. And I don't want to touch that. <laughs> Ref calling for more action. 30 seconds left and the ref breaks him up. Bontorin with a 1-2 a on the entries. A good tie clinch by Motoya and a good hook by Motoya as well. Oh, Motoya looks actually comfortable. Motoya landed a couple good shots there. Desperately going for the takedown now is Bontorin. Man, still can get his opponent to the ground, and that is it for the first round. Motoya looks good. Motoya looks good. Towards the end is where Montoya actually landed some strikes, though. Nice knee to the body. And Bontorin still couldn't get him to the ground. Almost had him. Well, pretty much they don't allow elbows, but allow soccer kicks, which are weird rulings. Yeah, and you can knee a grounded opponent. I just That's why I like one championship. You can elbow, you can knee a grounded opponent. You can't soccer kick, but you know, you're halfway there with the knees. I didn't think Montoya looked good. He couldn't get out of the corner. Well, he was using that to stuff the takedown. Yeah, he was being stalked into it, but easier to use that as something to lean on than the ropes. I won't say he looked good, but he was doing the right things defensively. I feel like it's either going to end in... It's either going to the end or in a submission. All right, round two. Let's get it all! 30 seconds into the second round, folks. Looks like more of the same here. Bontorin. Motoya with a good body kick, followed by a hook. Center of the ring. Four minutes and 12 seconds left in the second round. Right jab by Bontorin. Fall by left. Oh, and some good combos there by Motoya. 
We'll try with a body kick and Bodtorn uses that to grab the leg and shoot for a takedown. Bontorin had the hooks in and now pushing Montoya up against the corner of the cage again. Or sorry, ring again. Oh, that was my first slip up of the day. Yeah, I saw elbows on the ground in the first fight too. That's why I'm confused. And Bontorin they were on the ground just for a moment, scramble back up to their feet. They're very conserved after explosive first round. Foul one. Bontorn is boring. Yeah, his game plan isn't very exciting. Tough fight to judge, too, as neither of them are really doing much damage here. And the ref separating them yet again. Two minutes and 43 seconds left in the second round, folks. I appreciate you all. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat. Love the interaction here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do multiple live streams every single week. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Uh, Bontorn is a bit smaller, which is why he can't get the takedown. Oh, and a nice straight left by Montoya. Bontorn didn't like that. Oh, and a nice knee, and Bontorn is out. Bontorn is out. Look at the finish it. And it's all over. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, indeed. Montoya need Bontorin and knocked him the fuck out. Straight straight left punch rocked or at least at the very least hurt Bontorin for a as he was on. He was going back body kick and knee to the face to end it. If you're familiar with one championship's rules, you're basically familiar with Ryzen's rules. Only difference is that one band soccer kicks. Ryzen has not. All right. One thirty-five, yeah. Oh man, the stretcher is out. All right, we're looking at the replay right now. Body kick, oh, that hurt him too, and then boom, knee on the entry. Bontorin went in for the level change, and Motoya knees him in the face, dude. Oh. Oh shit, that was Demetrius Johnson versus Morias level of KO. He set up that knee, bro. That was beautiful. Knee to oblivion. He kept showing it, and Bontorn was going for it. Damn, that was bad. Stretcher is needed. He got the knee strike, and Yuki got the win. Is that four and one for you now, Gravedigger? Wow. What a finish. What a finish. That was unbelievable. And Bontorin still wobbly. John Dodds in his next, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What? What a knockout. I'm just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. I'll get right back to your comments, guys. These knockouts have been brutal. Yes, 4-1 in Gravedigger's predictions. That's awesome, buddy. You're killing it. I didn't think he was going to win by KO. Dude, I don't think any of us did. Great finish. Diego, what's going on, Diego? Good rule set and good on the refs to keep it entertaining. And I need to send Rogero to the Shadow Room. Bontorin getting that pure Ferguson confusion. Uh, Aiden Gear, Roberto, Kleber, Hido, Parlay set. Good luck, brother. Good luck. 
All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break here. We've been going for two hours. I haven't even taken like a five minute break or like a, even a two minute break. And that's all I'm going to take. I'm going to take a quick two minute break on the other side. We'll be back to rate John Dodson's and Hedo's walkout. We will obviously provide play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction to the next fight. And we'll highlight the fighters, we'll run down their records and everything before they enter the ring. And I'll get my prediction and then I will want to hear yours. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in two minutes time, taking a quick break, going to get some more water, maybe going to grab another beverage. And I'll be right back after the break. Don't go anywhere, folks. Keep the comments coming. Like and subscribe. I appreciate you all. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And I will see you folks in two minutes' time on the other side. Rising 40, baby. Live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. This fight companion has been so much fun. And I'll be right back in two minutes' time to continue hanging out with you folks here on this live stream. Two-minute break. See you folks on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I 
and I'm in Charlie, but I'm putting in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you want to. We can just talk if you want to. We can hold hands if you want to. Hey, tell me what you want to do. Just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna You can just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you laugh to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all have you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do we could just laugh if you wanna late nights on the stars if you wanna we could just kiss if you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do it's like the story of my life best friends but we rocking all the same things say you need me but you really trying to change lanes well i don't even care in my life i don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel, folks, for yet another fight companion, this time Ryzen 40. And we'll also continue on to do the Bellator MMA versus Ryzen. Now, this card was a sup or this next fight was a surprise fight. So it's not listed on topology so i'll keep the screen like this but i will update the ticker on the bottom of the screen it was supposed to be an mma fight but i guess now it's going to be a boxing match given well the gloves and the well the shoes that they're wearing right now so we have genji umeno against ren hiromato holy Genji Umeno is Mr. X. And we all wish her the best, man. We wish her the best. Right now I'm wanting that knee that Rogerio just took. <laughs> Someone's going to die for the fifth time tonight. <laughs> that was the best promo slash walkout I've ever seen. Incredible. Tattoo guy looks like a fuck boy, so I hope he loses. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it is a boxing match yet. It, uh, next, it was supposed to be uh, a mixed martial arts batch, but uh, Genju Ameno 51 14 and 4. Again, not an MMA. This is a boxing bout. Taking bong rips for the chat, boys. Smoke them if you got them. Can't wait for the next fight. <laughs> Take a bong rip for me. My lock will be Genji. I'll lock him in as well. Mr. X, let's go. 
Jen's used to fighting K1. Even the coaches are like yelling at each other. Oh, even the, the coach just flipped the other one, the bird. Genji's breaking them up here. My goodness. <laughs> From the Beaver's Bong. On the topic of only boxing fighting, I think Font actually pieces up uh, Adrian Yanez, dude. I'm leaning that way as well. THC vape rip for me. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Gold show shorts for Genji. Hiromoto. In the white trunks. Some Nike. What it looks like some fucking Nike dunks. <laughs> that Hiromoto's wearing in there. 3-3 three, three minute rounds, folks. Oh, and a nice combo by Genji. Two body shots, left hook to the head there. Jab by Hiromoto. Genji with the wide stance. This is going to be ugly, folks. <laughs> Hiromoto's just walking forward a little bit. They're on. Hiromoto got tagged with the hook. Genji. Slowly <laughs> gauging his range. Trying to get that jab through. Oh, and a nice left hook by Genji Mono. One minute and 25 seconds left. Left jab by Genji. I don't know. Ren here, Moto, just looks a little outclassed here. You know, for boxing, you should get Mills Lane. Let's get it on soundbite for your deck. Yeah, I should get like a boxing one, an MMA one separate. I got to get some more sound bites for the new year. 55 seconds left in this first round. Oh, what a nice left jab by Genji Humeno. And here, Moto actually gets a couple jabs in now as well. 35 seconds left in this first round. Twenty-five seconds left in the first round. Oh, Genji Menno's looking for that counter left. There's another left. Yeah, I was saying that too. Genji with the big wide stance here. And, uh, these, neither of these guys look like they have good boxing shoes. All right, end of the first round, folks. Breaver ball. <laughs> Okay, so the commentary said that uh, Genji's shoes keep sticking to the ground as he's trying to bounce. I mean, a slow first round, let's be honest, but when they exchange, they seem like hard shots. I'm looking for a good humble <laughs> by Genji. Looks like Genji might be... Oh, his nose is bleeding a bit. His opponent is already off the bench. Hiromoto pacing, ready for this next round. And Genji back up to his feet for the second round. Let's get it on! Let's get it on, folks. Appreciate you guys viewing Ryzen 40. Let's go like and subscribe. You know what that is? I see. <laughs> second round here. Oh, and a nice one-two by Hiromoto. Hiromoto with a good left jab. 
picking up the paces here, Moto, in the second round. Body shot by Genji. Good counter right, but here, Moto. Center of the ring. Hiromoto is kind of the one pushing forward. He's the one just kind of stalking Genji. Hiromoto's, oh, he's, his footwork's getting a little quicker here as the fight goes on. Two minutes left in the second round. Oh, both of them exchanged there, but it looks like Hiromoto got the better of it. One minute and 55 seconds left. Oh, a nice straight left jab by Genji. Hiromoto walking forward, walked right into a couple jabs there of Genji. Oh, nice left hook by Genji. Is, is he just wearing his Air Maxes? It looks like it. This guy's box better than Jake Paul. Yeah, most people do. Here, Moda's starting to get comfortable here. Oh, now he's mock. Here, Moto's now taunting his opponent here. He's taunting Genji. One minute to go in this second round. His nose is bleeding as fuck. Only matter of seconds before his breathing gets affected. Oh, there's an exchange, and they do they clinch? They finally clinch, and the ref separates them. Thirty-five seconds left in this first round or second round. It looks like it. Thank God I'm not the only one seeing those shoes. 20 seconds left in the second round. Oh, and a nice left hook on Hiromoto by Genji. 15 seconds left. Oh, Hiromoto, I think he, he landed on Genji here and wobbled a bit on Hiromoto. <gasps> My goodness, literally at the bell with one second left, Hiromoto knocks out Genji. Wow. Oh my goodness, yes, good stoppage by the by the official. You should get the soundboard of Dan Hardy yelling, stop the fight! Stop the fight! At fucking Herb Dean. <laughs> Hey, noted. That's a good one. Bro, literally the last second, right before the bell rung. Right before the bell rung. He is out. Genji is out. Ren is the victor. Four to two with your predictions. Gravedigger Jones. Massive left hook. Look at this. Genji was wobbled a bit. Right. Boom. And that left hook. And he is just out. Wow. No standing count. He was out, dude. He was out one second left in the round. I think they're just like, eh. Also, this fight, I mean, it was supposed to be an MMA fight, so I don't think it was actually even supposed to be a boxing fight. I have no idea the backstory on it, to be perfectly honest. He knocked him bad. Glad Hiromoto won, but man, was he out bad. Oh my goodness, folks, that was crazy. Very, like, slow, methodical first round. Things sp sped up in the second, and boom!
What a knockout. Well, who's ready to get knocked out next, folks? John Dodson knocked out his opponent in Bare Knuckle FC in his last fight. I we did a we did a live stream for that one as well. <laughs> the fuck boy won. Ren got knocked the fuck out. Also, why the fuck does the fight in Nike... Why is he fighting in Nike Air Maxes? Those inappropriate boxing footwear. <laughs> this has been an entertaining night, entertaining night, bro. Glad to enjoy it with you, Isha. I'm glad to join it. I'm glad to enjoy it with you as well, Isaiah Villa, and everybody else here in the live chat. Don't forget, at the end of the stream, I will give you all a shout-out from the live chat. We give special shouts uh, to our exclusive members on every vlog as well as every live stream because they go above and beyond for supporting the for supporting the channel, much like Gravedigger Jones, much like Mike Jones, much like Shane Van Nuys, Sean Butcher, Zuki, and Ali. But I appreciate all the interaction and hanging out with you folks. I'm so glad that we're here watching this Ryzen event together. <laughs> you should know. All right, so we should have Hideo Tokoro against John Dodson next, ladies and gentlemen. Time for me to go and grab another beverage. I'll be right back on the other side. Literally, I'll be back in a minute, folks. I'm going to go grab a cold one. Don't go anywhere. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. You all are amazing. I cannot wait to hang out with you folks tomorrow for Cage Warriors as well. Let me know in the live chat if you have any new year's plans folks and let me know if you did anything sweet during the holiday season during christmas if you don't celebrate christmas what you did throughout your time off or during this holiday season back in two minutes don't go anywhere this has been so much fun you guys are amazing rise in 40 bellator versus rise in next folks like the video subscribe to the channel don't go anywhere keep the comments coming and i'll see you folks on the other side Do 
story of my life. Best friend, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another fight companion. Tonight, today, this New Year's Eve, we are in Japan, Ryzen 44, followed by that Bellator MMA versus Ryzen next. Very excited for that card. A few fight announcements right now in the ring as we prepare for John Dodson against... Hideo Tokoro. Shout out to everyone who's been joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel throughout this entire live stream. You all are amazing. We're all staying up late watching this Ryzen 40 card. And tomorrow, if I mean if you if you have to go to bed, if you if you need to go to bed, you can do so. You can do so. I'll see you tomorrow for Cage Warriors, as we're gonna be also doing Cage Warriors UK versus USA fight companion as well if you're new to the channel like the video drop a comment in the live chat say what's up we're totally interactive and don't forget to vote in our poll question as well and let me know who you voted for in the poll question guys i need some help for the next streams poll question so let me know what you think the poll question should be for the next stream the next stream is the bellator versus ryzen stream because i did it in a separate stream as we might have we might have an hour, we might have an hour and a half of buffer time between both of the main card, which is Bellator versus Ryzen, and this stream, which we're on right now. I appreciate you all, by the way, joining. I appreciate you all. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. All right, let me uh, catch up on some of these comics comments. Next fight will be interesting indeed. <laughs> the guy had a cactus jack neck tat. Nice promotion. Uh Isaiah, we're in the same we're in the same time zone, buddy. Central time, baby. It's 1:30 a.m. where I'm at, too. Hopefully we get like, you know, an, an hour and a half more of fights. And then we can get a little, but then we can each get a get a little nap in. And then we'll be back. Be back strong for Bellator versus Ryzen. All right. The next fights are upon us, folks. Shout out to everybody here. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. The debut of John Dodson here in Ryzen. He last fought in BKFC where he got like a 20-second knockout. Crazy to know how the same Ryzen ring is going to be used for Wrestle Kingdom in a month's time. New Japan pro wrestling version of WrestleMania. Oh, interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, Fern uh, Chajan. Yeah, uh, go on Twitch. Go on Twitch and just look up the name and you'll find one. This guy looks so much like Elect. Troll magnetics professor from college. <laughs> UFC veteran fighting. Yes, John Dodson is next. So it looks like we have a little bit of a break in action here, folks. We have four more fights on this card. Takoro John against John Dodson. Junior Taffa against Sudario. Uh Nikoi Inu against Kenta. Takazawa, and then the main event of Ryzen for 40 before we take a break and jump over to Bellator versus Ryzen. Saika Izawa against Sibu Park. And that's for the tournament championship. Anyways, early predictions for John Dodson. Rusty Dusty. Yes, sir. The, the video is already up. The video and stream uh, room is already up. So if you want to go and like that and uh, and know that I will be there. If you, like if you check out my like the YouTube channel 
and click the live tab, you'll see that that stream is already scheduled and ready to go, brother. So yes, Rusty Dusty, we'll be doing this for that, for the AJ fight as well. Oh, it looks like the, the broadcast is taking a little bit of a break as well, folks. So we might even take a little bit more of, of an extended break, and I might even go grab a snack. I was supposed to watch this tomorrow night with my girlfriend for New Year's Eve, and she never wants to watch fights. Well, it's a good thing that we're here with you, brother. So it looks like the whole uh, the whole broadcast and uh, everything is uh, taking a little bit of a break right now. So we might do another one here as well. As it's probably going to be about five minutes until John Dodson walks out. Looks like there's another musical performance about to go down. So keep the comments coming. If the comments slow down a bit, we'll take we'll take another little break here as we have an intermission before the final four fights on this Ryzen 40 card. What are you expecting the font Yanez fight to look like? I'm expecting round one of Yanez versus Costa on repeat. I think Yanez is going to try to box with him, realize I can't box with him, and then that's how the first round is going to go. I think uh, font's going to outstrike him, and in the second round, Yanez is going to try to adjust, maybe try to go for a takedown. If font can stuff the takedown and keep it on his feet, I think font won will win that fight. Intermission's 20, 30 minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> we got a breakdancing uh, performance right now. <laughs> breakdancing performance in the ring. Good thing there's not a lot of blood right now in the ring because that would just be kind of... Because it looks like these are younger, younger uh, folk here doing their breakdancing. Those first few matches were freaking knockout after knockout after knockout. How awesome was that? How awesome was that? Okay, well, we're not going to take a 20 to 30 minute break, but I am going to take another break here, and I'm literally just going to go grab a snack. I'm going to grab a little for myself, and then we'll come back here. But if you guys want to keep talking up until then, please do so. I know I just took a break to grab a, a little drinky poo. But um, I didn't realize this might be 20 minutes long. And if so, I'm going to go grab like a granola bar or something from upstairs and get a little fresh air. Because it's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long morning, a long early afternoon. And then I'm, I'm, I'm staying up till midnight again. So let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. Can I watch the AJ fight in the USA? It only says Showtime delay. So on Fight.tv, you just need to get a, a VPN and um, on a Canadian server, and you're good to go, buddy. Or you can go on Twitch.com and just look up Rise, and you'll find it. You'll find it. You deserve a break, my man. I'm gonna take a look at the info on the card. Okay, well, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna take a little bit, a little bit of a break. Um, I will be back soon and I will be in the live chat. I'll have my phone on me. So I'll have my phone on me and I'll, I'll be around. So I will check the chat. I'll make sure that everything's still still going. No more technical issues. Not that we had any on this uh, stream. Knock on wood. But uh, yeah, I didn't realize. And thank you for letting me know that the intermission breaks are, you know, could be up to 20 minutes long. I'm pretty good at ragging the puck, as we say in hockey terms, and continuing to talk. I mean, I did work in radio for a little bit. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to keep me talking, ask me questions, we can do so. If not, let's all just take a little bit of a break and then come back here in five to ten minutes. We'll continue to go over the card. Oh, is the intermission done now? It still says intermission. The lights dimmed, so I didn't I didn't know if maybe something was happening. Next bout will start. Okay, one sec. Um Okay, the next bout's gonna start in ten minutes, so that's perfect. The next bout is gonna start at two forty five. 
a.m. Eastern. So we good. We still got a few more minutes. Okay, I'm going to take another break here, folks. Sorry I took that other break right before this one. I didn't realize that this intermission would be that long. I'm going to go grab a quick snack, a little granola bar to keep me going through the night. You got time, trust me. Okay, okay. Okay, I checked out Rising Card and Tapology. The bout is a draw, so it's 4-1-1. Oh, okay, there you go. Yes, Fern Cajun saying Twitch, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I will be right back, folks. You are all amazing. Again, you are all amazing. I appreciate all of you staying up with me to watch this event. This is this is just so awesome. I'm I'm so blessed to be building this cool fight community with you folks here on this ch channel. Kyle and I are so thrilled with the growth of the channel, and we love doing these fight streams with you guys. So like the video if you haven't already. Vote in the poll question. Subscribe to the channel if you're just viewing and you haven't subscribed yet. And you, if you're shy and don't want to comment in the live chat, that's fine. Vote in the poll question. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. Go ahead and like the Bellator vs. Ryzen live stream that's already up on our channel, ready to go after this. Like that ahead of time so more people can view. Pomford Dobson or Dodson, first round KO, baby. Shout out to Kyle, the co-creator of this channel. Kyle's the one who does all the vlog production. All of the all of the hard work Kyle does, to be perfectly honest. I just sit here, watch fights, and hang out with you guys. So shout out to Kyle. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the exclusive members. Shout out to freaking Mike Jones with the $2 super sticker early in this stream. Sorry, that was a little loud. I appreciate you all. Don't go anywhere. Right? Fill up, fill up your water, fill up your hot chocolate, fill up your coffee, grab a snack, st do a little stretch, and we'll be back here in 10 minutes for the last four fights on this main Rise and 40 card. And then Bellator versus Rise and Baby. Let's freaking go. I'm talking a little quiet because my roommates are sleeping upstairs, but you can see I have the energy. We're going to keep that energy going live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. So I'll see you folks right after the break, five to ten minutes, and we'll be back for the final four fights. We'll be back for John Dodson here on Ryzen 40. You all are amazing. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you folks on the other side. If you wanna, we could just talk if you wanna. We 
Take your own hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friend, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like, we could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you have to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all end. If you wanna, hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you have to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all have you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do we could just laugh if you wanna late nights on the stars if you wanna we could just kiss if you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do it's like the story of my life best friends but we rocking all the same things say you need me but you really trying to change lanes well i don't even care in my life i don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you have to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could 
could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friend, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you laugh to no end That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all have if you wanna, hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friend, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you laugh to no end That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can hold hands you wanna, hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna, late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna, hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friend, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Life Project YouTube channel. Out of that intermission, 
Ryzen 40, the final four fights on this Ryzen 40 card before we take another little bit of a break as we get into Bellator vs. Ryzen. Welcome everybody, welcome back to the City Light Project YouTube channel for yet another fight companion, this time in Japan, this time in Ryzen. So excited to be doing this live stream with all of you today. First time we've done a Ryzen fight companion here on the channel, and what a better night to do so than New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve special on Ryzen, Ryzen 40, Bellator vs. Ryzen. So excited to have you guys here. Let's get back to the comments in the live chat. So I think we answered this already. There's four more fights on this card. Peak Master voted in the poll question. Please, folks, if you haven't already, please vote in the poll question. Voted AJ. He's probably the best to represent MMA new gen. Do, 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 do. I wouldn't be shocked if AJ gets submitted tonight, but I do think that AJ will get the TKO. This is a good song. Yeah, you like that? You like the song, guys? It's called If You Wanna by Monty the Hawkage. Well, the Devils beat the snot out of the pens. And the next bout is coming up. John Dodson, baby. When does the Ryzen vs. Bellator start? 5 a.m. Eastern, good sir. Thanks so much for joining, Leon. You think I can get in two hours of sleep before the Bellator fights begin? I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to try, Leon. <laughs> What are we, we're nearing? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It might just be back, back to back. Who am I going for in the next fight? John Dodson, baby. I'm rooting for John Dodson. That's who I'm locking in my pick for. <laughs> Got to go with Dodson. And you know what? His last fight in bare knuckle FC was pretty damn good. He got the win in like 30 seconds. Making his promotional debut here in Ryzen. All right, here we come. Here comes the walkouts, folks. Here comes the walkouts. John Dodson in the Ninja Turtles outfit. Yeah, baby. Oh my god. 22 and 13 is John Dodson. 38 years old. <laughs> Five foot two. Yeah, he does not stand six foot two. All right, let's go over these fighters here. John Dodson, let's go, baby. John Dodson, a tough alumni. Uh, UFC alumni, 22 and 13 is his professional MMA record, 38 years old, 10 and 7 in the UFC, 2 and 2 in Ultimate Warrior Challenge, and 2 and 1 in Ring of Fire. He beat Ryan Bonneau in BKFC earlier this year, and before that beat Francisco Rivera Jr. in XMMA. Before then was on a two-fight losing streak. His last fight in the UFC was a loss to Marab Divalashvili. He did beat Nathaniel Wood back in 2020. In the UFC, he lost to Piotr Jan, Jimmy Rivera. He beat Pedro Munoz, lost to a prime Marlon Marias, but beat a decent Eddie Wineland at the time. I mean, he lost to John uh, Leinker, long John Dobson has fought just the who's who in the UFC. And prior to his loss to Demetrius Johnson, Tim Elliott, he beat in the UFC. I mean, he beat some solid guys. He beat some solid guys on his way up. I mean, this guy was so fun to watch in that division. Competing at 125 tonight, again in Ryzen, is the 38-year-old John Dodson. His opponent, Hideko to uh, Tokoro, 35 31 and 2. He's 45 years old. 
Little Volk, 35, 31, and two. Jesus. Uh, nine, six, and one in K1, six and seven in Dream, three and three in Ryzen, and zero and one in Bellator. He lost his last fight, but before that, he beat Shinobu Ota in Ryzen. Shinobu Ota was making his MMA debut, I should, I should say. And then he's competed in a lot of exhibition grappling and grappling matches in the last few years. So anyways, Hideo Takoro taking on John Dodson. Here, Ryzen 40, coming out of the intermission here. Let's go, baby. Donatello onesie. <laughs> they really put 6-2 for Dodson. What the fuck? I think it was 5-2 and it was a mistake. But yeah, I was laughing there too. I think Dodson's style is going to be hard for Ryzen's fighters, fighters to deal with. Yeah, well, especially with a guy who's 45 years old and primarily competes in grappling right now. So apparently, no man has competed more on New Year's Eve than Hide Hideo Tokoro. 45 years old again, 35, 31, and 2 record. He's got some height on Dodson. I'll give him that, but pretty much everyone Dodson has fought in his career has had some height on him. John Dodson, got to win. He, he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Demetrius Johnson. Dude, and how crazy is it? Demetrius Johnson still just dominating. Still just, still just killing it. Still, oh, I love Demetrius Johnson. I say, I, will, oh, I say this all the time. He's the greatest American MMA fighter. To ever fight? He really is. He ran that division back in the day. And he's killing it in one championship. Love it. Can't wait to see Marias. Dod or I was gonna say Dodson. Marias and Demetrius Johnson three. I'm oh, I really want to go to Colorado and see it live. But then I can't stream it for you guys. So yeah, maybe maybe I'll just stay here. <laughs> I like Christian Lee. I like Christian Lee. Christian Lee trains trains in Vancouver, British Columbia part-time. DJ was no bullshit, no drama. He came in to wrestle and bash heads in and come back home to upload games to his YouTube. <laughs> and the guy was a business guy too. He was like, listen, like, I know my worth. I want to get paid for these fights, especially when I, you know. When I fight one fight and I get paid a lot, and then I fight another guy and I get paid less, he's like, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. He's like, I should be, I should be just get the same amount of money each time or or get a raise. John John Dodson would get hit in the balls a lot in the UFC. That's true, actually. I remember that now. As a Singaporean, Christian Lee is annoying, and I hope Sagid, uh, yes, takes that belt away from him. I don't get why he is representing us. He's a pu he's pure USA blood. Well, he's pure USA blood, and he trains in Vancouver, Canada. He's marketable by the organization, and in credit to him, though, his last fight, that comeback that he had, was insane. I have my reaction video. I posted it on this channel. John Dodson. I love how one has events on Amazon. Such a power move. That's such, that's something Ryzen needs. Well, they do it on Amazon. And then four hours later, they do another one. Right? Because for Amazon, it's our prime time in North America. Then they do the numbered event, you know, at 5 a.m. our time. But prime time for, for Singapore. It, it's amazing. All right, let's be honest with John Dodson. He has to beat this guy. Like, he has to beat this guy. USA, USA. <laughs> Height difference and reach advantage for Takoro. Every other advantage, John Dodson. 
Round one. Let's get it all. Oh, and right out of the gate. Takoro comes out with a kick and hits Dodson right in the balls. My goodness. Diego. It looks like he gets hit in the balls a lot in Ryzen as well. <laughs> Y'all watch Combate Global. We haven't done a live stream for it here, but I've watched a couple of the events. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the first round. We have 30 seconds into this fight, folks. And John Dodson already got hit in the balls. John Dodson was looking for maybe a back take there. John Dalton making his debut in Ryzen here in Japan. John Dodson trying to get a read on his opponent. Ooh, Dodson with a nice body shot on Takoro. Takoro, he's a submission guy. He's a grappler. John Dodson is telling him to get back up. Get back up. That's a smart move. The Lobo can totally change how Dodson was going to come out. <laughs> this guy's 45. He looks 38 at most. Gosh, damn, baldness does wonders. <laughs> He's also, you know, professional fighter, so he stays in shape. Dodson looks good for 38. Oh, inside low kick, and that seemed to hurt Dodson. Dodson seemed to tag Takoro, though. Dodson's so explosive still at 38 years old with his strikes. Hell yeah, buddy. Three minutes and 18 seconds left. Dodson with another body shot. Dodson is just chasing Takoro now. Dodson, and that is it. Dodson TKO. Look at the finish. TKO. Let's go, baby. Dodson makes a name for himself in this promotion in unbelievable fashion. TKO. He chased his opponent around the ring. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, Good display of respect. John Dodson bows to his opponent. John Dodson saying he was a huge fan of him. That he looks up to him. Wow. John Dodson getting his arm raised. Promotional debut in Ryzen. <laughs> Dodson pulled a Pena. Hey, 38-year-old going against a 45-year-old. I just want this guy to come out with a win. What's up, Jay? Good morning, sir. Dodson takes the win. Well, it looks like maybe that liver shot hurt, and then, and the guy was just like, oh, God. <laughs> that flip nearly knocked Dodson out, which his opponent was unable to do. See, his forward crazy pressure is something that these rising guys are going to have a hard time dealing with. You did call that. You did call that. <laughs> Love the Ninja Turtles. Let's go, John Dodson. So just found out that Rose lost. I was gritting from ear to ear when I found out. How do you feel about that, Isha? I feel happy for John Dodson. I love the guy. I love John Dodson. I will say his next opponent can't be a washed 45-year-old. We got to give him someone, you know, not, not like a young up-and-comer, not like a title ranked title uh, or, or a ranked guy or anything like that but but maybe someone on his level he said it's been a long time coming and it's been a dream come true to come and fight in front of the japanese audience i was giddy giddy when usman lost <sighs> so was i called it said fern the speed from dodson and the finishing blows were a chef's kiss Trying not to wake people up? Yeah, man. It is 2 a.m. And my roommates are literally right above me. 
Kiv Dotson DJ. Cross promotion, one championship rising. The record of his opponent wasn't the best. Oh, no. Like, he got fed a can. He got fed a can 100%. But he's old. Ryzen wanted to see where he was at. I come back and saw the ending. So happy. Honestly speaking, Dodson's height, even though short, is like a huge advantage since most Japanese guys are like five foot seven, which makes them hard to measure his head. Hell yeah, Dodson. Hey, good story nonetheless coming out of this fight. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and then the graphic, and we'll get right back into it. Bum, 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 bum. Heavyweights, folks. Oh, the Team Ryzen locker room right now. Already getting, some of them getting their hands taped. A few of them taking <laughs> some naps. As right after the intermission, or during the intermission, we saw the Bellator and Ryzen guys make their way into the arena. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. And look at, we'll get right into highlighting the heavyweights here. Do, 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 do. Three more fights left on this card, ladies and gentlemen, before we go into Bellator versus Ryzen. Do, 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 do. I think this is the only heavyweight fight on this card. Awkward ending to an awkward fight. Can't wait for Bellator versus Ryzen. This camera backstage. So Ryzen and Bellator CEO gifting each other cocaine and katanas. <laughs> uh, tension. Uh, Nazu, uh, Nazukawa would be a good next opponent for Dodson next. That'll be a big fight for both the guys. I'm going to look him up quick. Uh, do... Okay. I'm I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this fight. Four and Owen Ryzen, kickboxer. Let's do it. I line them up. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters here. Justin Taffa's twin brother. Yes, indeed. Why does Junior look like Dylan Dennis, but successful? <laughs> Tension is the guy Floyd beat. Oh, okay, okay. Putting my roosters to sleep. Tension is the kid that fought Floyd a couple years ago. Gotcha, gotcha. It was weird, too. I mean, any of these Floyd Mayweather exhibition fights are weird. Okay, folks. Uh, Tsuyoshi Sudario versus Junior Taffa. Sudario, 25 years old. He's 6 and 1 in pro MMA. 4 and 1 in his last 5 fights. On a 3 fight winning streak right now, Ryzen 31, Ryzen 37 and Ryzen 39, he won all of his fights via knockout, left hook, TKO and ground knee in the first 30 seconds of the second round. His opponent making his walkout right now, Junior Taffa, 3-0 and as a heavyweight in pro MMA. He's 26 years old, out of Australia. Terrible walkout music, but all right, we'll give it to him. Muay Thai, kickboxing guy. He's fought in Brave CF, making his Ryzen debut here tonight is Junior Taffa. Um, I'm going with uh, 
I'm going with Sudario just because I hate this song. Locking it in. <laughs> Junior been through multiple promotions. Brave CF, Beatdown, Hex, to name a few. Sudario wins by TKO. My friend will be making his second kickboxing fight in Malaysia on one FC's co-partner event, Ultimate Beatdown. He's currently one uh, oh no at 16 years old. Dude, that's awesome. Remind me, Crippled Ham, as we get closer to the event, and uh, I'll definitely watch it. Whether we stream it or not, I'll definitely watch it. All right. Tafa just getting looked at by the Cutman. Entering the ring here. Let's get it on! <laughs> Fighters still making their walk to the ring. Once they do, we will hit the sound bite and continue to, to provide live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Keep the comments coming. Like and subscribe. You all are amazing. I really appreciate hanging out with all of you. Junior was also in glory kickboxing. So he's got some decent hands. All right. All right, so Sudario, already the better the better song. Just, just, just by a tad, but already the better song. Making his walk out now. Let me know your predictions, folks, in the live chat if you haven't already. I still think the first fight, that Yoshi guy had the best walkout yet of all the Ryzen, of all the Ryzen walkouts. You could tell he wanted to put on more of a show. And he, I mean, he won his fight too, but... <laughs> 25 years old is, again, Tsuyoshi Sadario, 6-1. 6'2", 260 is what he weighed in at. I might go for Sudario. Damn, such a chill song for such a violent sport. Beautiful irony. I love the contrast. Diego, love this song. Gravedigger, I hate this song. <laughs> Flow rider. Hey, it's better than Tafa's song that he walked out to, in my opinion. This song's catchy. I don't mind this song. Oh, man, I'm excited for Heavyweight. Somebody is going down. Somebody is going down. Yeah, I'm going for Su I'm going for uh, Sudario as well. Both of these fighters in the ring. We're about to get it on, folks. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment-driven live stream. You all are amazing. I appreciate all of you hanging out with us here tonight for Ryzen 40. Again, if you haven't already, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you're just tuning in, if you're too shy to comment in the live chat, that's okay. Just vote in the poll question. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Yeah, Sudario, tough striking style favors Sudario. Only fight to go the distance right here. How funny would that be? Someone needs to walk out to Sandstorm for it to be a true Japanese event. I just want someone to walk out to the Pride theme. All right, final announcement in the ring, and then this fight will begin. And after this heavyweight bout, two more on this card. Two more on this card before we jump over to Bellator MMA versus Ryzen. Team Bellator versus Team Ryzen, baby. Oh my God, I'm so excited for that. How do I still have all this energy? And sorry, I, I'm not talking too loudly. It's just because it's 2.16 a.m. right now and my roommates upstairs are sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. So I hope... That despite me talking in a soft tone, you folks can see my energy, feel my energy, and know how excited I am and how awake I am to keep going and doing these streams for the rest of the evening. Morning now, I guess. We 
we did have a tactic for my friend to come out to meme song, which as a Sesame Street or a Peppa Pig. So in that case, he lost people, won't take him seriously. But if he won, it would rub his opponents wrongly. That's fun. That's fun. For 15 bucks, this seems like a, a bargain compared to the last year event with Pimblet. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Man. Sudario is a big, big man. All right, center of the ring. <laughs> Even the commentary is like, I don't see this fight going three rounds. So 30 seconds. No strikes yet, just a couple leg kicks. Sudario with a couple outside leg kicks. Both of them just kind of waiting for the first one. When a nice high kick by Taffa. Again, Taffa, glory kickboxer. These guys weighed in the same? 260, baby. Sario got that Samoan body. Oh, no! Taffa! Wide left hook drops Sudario. And Taffa says, get up. I've been up for 20 hours. And here we go, back up to their feet. And Taffa is the one stalking Sudario. Taffa with the right hand. Taffa with an uppercut. And Sudario is just swinging for dear life right now. He's still wobbly. And an overhand by Taffa knocks down Sudario. Taffa has the back of Sudario. Left, right, left, and another right. This is it. This is it. And Taffa wins this fight. I'm gonna finish it. And it's all over. Oh my God! Junior Taffa, stand the fuck up! What an incredible performance. Man, these Australians, man, these Australian guys can fight. Junior Taffa, all it took was that one knockdown. Sudario, he got back up and just, he had nothing. He had, he was still wobbly. He was swinging, but his strikes really didn't have that much force to them at all. And Taffa made him pay, pounced on his back, shots to the side of his head. Now we're looking at the replay. Overhand left is, is what drops Sudario. Couple hammer fists, invites him back up to his feet. Big boy getting dusted off. That was a mauling. Oh shit, we all I got that wrong too. Man, and then just up against the up against the uh, the ropes there, and the and the official finally stops it. Damn man, let's go, bro. <laughs> the sumo's no joke. Good finish. <laughs> Some guys I'll have to be facing. Yeah, seeing how like five matches ended in a few seconds, we're probably getting a few minutes more worth of Bellator versus Ryzen, and I'm all for it. Me too. Me too. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Junior won the heavyweight bout. Five to one prediction record for Gravedigger Jones. Junior Taffa addressing the crowd saying, Happy New Year. Mark Hunt in his corner. The legendary Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt. Who made such a, a name for himself as well. Fighting in various Asian promo promotions. Pride as well. Do you know if this event will roll into Bellator versus Ryzen? Seems like these are going to be significant break to make it scheduled time for 5 a.m. Um, so it, it is going to roll on. If you're watching on fight.tv with a Canadian VPN, then it's just going to be a long intermission before the next fight starts. There'll, just, there'll be a break in the broadcast. And for these streams, for the ones for this one that we're doing with you guys right now, it will also roll into or it won't roll into the Bellator versus Ryzen. I have a separate 
um i have a whole separate like stream scheduled for that one we have a is it is this championship fight five rounds oh no that's three five minute rounds okay well there's two more fights 135ers and then um 110 pound women so i don't know if we'll get knockouts in both of those ones but hey i'm not complaining if we have a little buffer time quick a quick uh power nap let's go love mark hunt love mark hunt one of my favorite one of my favorites because he was kind of like, not personality wise but just his style like he was like Derek lewis before Derek lewis now Derek lewis wasn't a kickboxer but you know what i mean it was either mark hunt knock someone out or mark hunt got knocked out or submitted in mark hunt in mark hunt's uh case submitted but you know what i mean it wasn't like you, you don't look at the record to judge that those fighters you look at the fights Oh, Eye of the Tiger. I've been waiting for this. Ooh, I should update the... I gotta update all this. Give me a sec, folks. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Manny Pacquiao's walking out right now. Neither of the fighters are walking out. It was Manny Pacquiao to Eye of the Tiger. Okay. Is Manny Pacquiao going to be fighting in in Ryzen? Is Manny Pacquiao now going to be doing boxing in Ryzen? What's going on here, folks? I'm a heavyweight. Mark Hunt even shared my street fight. Dude, I love Mark Hunt. Okay, long intermission, got it. Well, we'll see. There might be a lot of filler now because now there's going to be Manny, Manny Pacquiao's now in the center of the ring. Mark Hunt beat Derek. Hunt over Lewis over Tio Vasa. Exactly that. Mark Hunt walk-off KOs are iconic. What the fuck, Manny Pacquiao? Cheesy entrance, but I'll allow it. First Ryzen stream you've seen. Dude, JL, the first walkout was fucking insane, dude. A guy had these, like, these, uh, these two women next to him in, like, oh, what was it, like, like almost like dragon type suits, but anime style. And they were dancing while he, dancing while he was, like, walking down the, I was just nuts. It was crazy. He's going to box and rising. <laughs> Coming for Mayweather. We've already seen that. <laughs> Manny would get chewed up by Patty. <laughs> oh, Manny Pacquiao has agreed to fight in Ryzen next year. At this point, I'm expecting Conor McGregor to show up. <laughs> this is another big announcement. Okay, so Ryzen's going to choose an opponent for him, and the date and the opponent are going to be announced soon. But Manny Pacquiao is signed in Ryzen. <laughs> Manny's a legend, but uh, should, ha should hang up the gloves. Well, this is very Ryzen esque, right? This is very <laughs> Japanese MMA esque. Hopefully, they pair him up with someone again. Of his age, of his current level. They were cosplay as Demon uh, Sukubi. Dude, JL, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. The whole arena, the whole Satama Super Arena, where all those pr great pride events took place in Japan years ago, is full right now. He's Filipino. Mayweather boxed at Ryzen not too long ago, too. Well, take him down easy. Manny Pacquiao versus Kota Miura, please. Or it could be tension. Oh, 
Awkward. Wow. Eye of the tiger. Manny Pacquiao. How old is he now? He's in his 40s, right? Mm, mm, mm. 44. Oof. Yeah, he should hang him up soon. But hey, not until Ryzen can uh, get some money. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Second to last fight on this card, ladies and gentlemen. He's 62. <laughs> I liked Izzy's walkout at 281. I like the walkout, uh, the Undertaker walkout too, which was good. Who's Ryzen's owner? It's one of the same owners who own Pride, if I'm not mistaken. I forget his name. I think there's two owners in Ryzen, or it's like a it's like a group. But it was the same ownership group uh, of Pride. When Pride sold to the UFC, they regrouped and started Ryzen. I guess that's why Ryzen can't use the 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 Pride song, right? Because the UFC technically owns it now. At 44 years of age, he should have retired comfortably, not willing to take more brain damage, even though the millions of dollars sounds enticing. No, absolutely. But I mean, these guys, I'm not defending it by any means, but we we see it with so many fighters. They just can't stop. Rising is smart, can't even be mad. Saki Kabara, the Undertaker walkout was funny. And Takata. JL, I love these intros and promos are awesome. I just, I love Ryzen. I love Ryzen. It just reminds me so much of Pride. And again, it's like the same people who are running it. So it makes sense. Takara. Uh, Colby Covington's walkout to Kurt uh, Angel's theme was awesome. Mike Perry walking out. To not the Halo video game theme that he requested, but Beyonce's Halo was fucking awesome too. Curtis Blade still has my favorite walkout song with the Mortal Kombat theme song. That's awesome. Someone should walk out to Brooker T. Colby's really the best. Would love to see it live. Dude, I want to fucking see someone walk out to the Pride theme song in the UFC. Since the UFC own it, they can't. They shouldn't say no. All right, here we go, folks. The fighters are making their walkouts now. Let's do a quick little, a quick little rundown on both of these fighters here, folks. Naoki Inu against Kenta Takizawa. Inu fifteen and three. In his pro MMA career, he's 25 years old. He is 4-1 and one in his last five fights. He is 5-1 and one in Ryzen, 1-1 one one in the UFC. He lost his last fight in Ryzen via unanimous decision, but before that, went on a 2-4-6 fight win streak. One of those fights being in deep nine. Uh, deep, well, deep 93, the promotion where he won via rear naked choke. Then he joined Ryzen and he's gone two, four, five and won in Ryzen since. He's fought in Cage Fury CF. He lost to Matt Snell in the UFC, but beat uh, Carl's John de Thomas in the UFC. So he's fought in deep the UFC, Cage Fury, and now Ryzen is. Na uh, Naoki Inu. His opponent who is entering the ring right now, Kenta Takizawa, 28 years old, 13 and 8 pro MMA record. He's 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Primarily fighting in Ryzen and Pancrase. He's 9 and 4 in Pancrase, 3 and 3 in Ryzen. He lost his last fight as well. Unanimous decision. 
won two before then, lost two before then, won two before then, lost one before then, lost two. I mean, this guy's kind of streaky. He hasn't put a win streak together of more than four since 2015. I'm going with the 25-year-old Inu. Locking it in. Naruto Ryzen is a really great sport. Wasn't Pride run by the Yakuza? Oh, yeah, and then Ryzen has ties to them, too. Again, guys, here, look up Napoleon Blown Apart on YouTube. He has the best Pride FC documentary on YouTube. And he's just, it, it was so good. It was so good. Jay, highly recommended. I think you'd dig it. I am watching on Fight TV, but you should go to twitch.com. Karate Combat versus Ryzen. That is the first opening to Naruto Shippuden. Um, Grave Digger Jones, my, my friend Shane. Shane, your fellow exclusive member on this channel, which, by the way, you guys are both in the Discord together, so he's a huge Naruto fan. Does the Yakuza run Ryzen like they did with Pride? Not exactly, because... I mean, you can't be that openly shady anymore. Um, but yeah, there are ties to them for sure. They're not, they're not just like straight up funded by them. Dude, you got to hear some of Rampage Jackson's stories about meeting the Yakuza when he was, you know, 24, 25 years old fighting in Pride FC before the UFC brought him over. Hilarious stories, crazy and hilarious stories, but more behind the scenes. But I, I would imagine if you dig a little bit, you'll find, you'll find some, uh, You'll find some funding there. And I know one of the or one of the owners has ties to them. If you want to know how good Yuri Prohaska is, he made the current light heavyweight champion of Bellator retire on the stool by just being Yuri. This was at Ryzen's first event. Yep. Um Yuri Prohaska Ryzen's light heavyweight champion before coming over to the UFC. Do you bet? yourself on mma at all what do you mean oh do i do i bet on mma yeah i do bet on mma match snell's legit he was the main training partner for Sahudo when he faced tj dude match snell had fight of the year in my opinion against sumida jari earlier i've got my own recommendations now on youtube uh locate Location by his or edits is amazing doc and movie on Khabib's uh the Khabib Connor saga. Okay, noted. Must watch your MMA fan. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that tomorrow. The Yakuza are now very small in Asia. The Chinese triad, however, are taking over. So yeah, the Yakuza is powerful, but not that much compared to the economic bubble in the 90s, in the in the 80s and early 90s. What MMA promotion is my favorite? Uh, one championship, UFC. And then it's like a tie between Ryzen, KSW, and a few others. Ayers, the French uh, promotion, is pretty awesome as well. Nothing like this, but pretty awesome. Yuri is an animal. Peak Master... Um, Peak Master, look, it's on, uh, people were saying it's on Red, or on, um, I'm losing my mind now. What is it on? Twitch. So look it up on Twitch. <laughs> All right, Gravedigger Jones, you are going for Takizawa. I'm going for the opposite. Man, Silver rubbing his hands in pride. Gives me chills, even though I was not even born yet. The fucking axe murdered you. He was one of my favorite fighters in Pride. Yeah, he was kind of past his prime when he came to the UFC, but he did have one great war against Chuck Liddell in the UFC. Dude, the axe murderer. So Pride's stars were Sakuraba 
and then the axe murder and axe and oh poor Vander Vanderlei Silva beat the shit out of Sakuraba a few times. PFL is better than Bellator. Brave CF is good. All right, round one. Let's get it all. Exchanging of some leg kicks here. High kicks for Takazawa. Low kicks for Inu. Oh, and a nice outside low kick by Inu. Yes, agreed. Agreed on that 100%. The fact that the PFL even asked us to pay money was ridiculous. Oh, Peak Masters, I mean, it should be okay. It should be okay. High kick for Inu. Fast pace to this. Left jab by Inu Takazawa. Some great kicks. Oh, and a nice one two by Inu. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in the first round. And a one two and a low kick by Tazakawa. Tazakawa. More of a wider kind of karate stance here. Uh, Kenta is going to win. How about Crow Cop, though? I liked watching Crow Cop. He crushed way more cans than those other guys, though. Pride wanted him to be their star more than he wanted to be their star, right? PFL would be a smart move to convert Rob Wilkinson into one of their main stars. Dude, I love Rob Wilkinson. I think he's the best guy they got as far as skill and entertainment. I'd tend to agree. One UFC Ryzen one Bellator. David Leduc would fit in Ryzen so well, knowing uh, that he's a Lethwe guy. Two minutes and fifty seconds left in the first round. You guys are awesome. I love the conversation here, by the way. And a takedown by Inu in the full guard of Takazawa, passing to half guard now is Inu. Half guard, Takizawa controlling the neck of Inu. Those blocked low kicks. Don't want to see a broken leg. <laughs> Some strikes from the top, but nothing crazy. A good job from Takizawa on the bottom with the defense here. Takizawa now looking to push Inu off him and roll out of this. Two minutes and 10 seconds left in this first round. TKO promotion was fun some years back. There's so many good promotions out there now. And again, like production value, obviously, is an important part of it in this day and age. But as far as the fights, you can get quality fights in so many promotions now. There's a higher chance of seeing... A rolled ankle in these leg checks so far, yeah. <laughs> Inu trying to pass into side control. Can't get it. Takizawa had the underhook, but actually just took that out. One minute and 18 seconds left in this first round. Inu hasn't done much with this top control. He you know, passed to half guard, but he's still just lying flat. Oh, you would have, Jay, you would have just loved it. You would have just loved it. First excuse was that Pat Barry lost. And then and then they just kind of rolled on. Dude, she she lost in like less than a minute. Some shoulder strikes on the top by Inu. Followed by a hammer fist and an elbow. Oh, he almost passed to that side controls. Didn't quite get it. I don't like the ropes. Even for Muay Thai, the cage is better. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Again, it reminds me of Pride. 
Oh, and Inu, Inu is cut open. And he finally passed the guard into side control, but only 10 minutes left. And the soccer kicks, and the soccer kicks. We saw our first two soccer kicks of the night. Takazawa was wobbling after that. Some elbows from the top position. And then two soccer kicks to end that first round. The gloves look so thick on the knuckle section, probably generating a lot of power from those then techniques, especially evident in the junior Tafa fight where he was just swinging. I love the way the Japanese put on a fight just from their overall production, the audio, the lighting, camera angles, and even their fight preview. So much fun. Absolutely. Totally agree. There's something special about what Pride and Ryzen, you know, did as far as their show and still do. Man, he busted him open. What a cut. My goodness. Right above that left eye. Inoue, that's his name. I kept calling him Inu, but Inoue is how you pronounce the name. Yeah, Takazawa busted open round two. Let's get it all! Inoue taking the center of the ring right away. A few kicks, body, leg. Anyway, high kick as Takazawa tried to enter with a kick of his own. Was it Takazawa who got clipped by something? Oh, and a nice one-two. And anyway, just teeing off and now goes for the takedown and he gets it right into side control. 30 seconds into the second round. And Takazawa... I don't know what he got hit with to wobble him a little bit. Maybe just the leg kicks, but then a one-two and a takedown. And a knee to the face of Takazawa by Inu. So weird seeing a dude get soccer kicked with zero crowd reaction. I know. Because everyone's just like, yeah, this is the this is our promotion, baby. Oh shit, the way that leg rebound is scary. We might see something snap. The UFC seems so cookie cutter compared to Ryzen or any other Asian promotion. Yep. Potential triangle. Armbar. Anyways, going for the armbar. And he gets out of it, does Takazawa, but right back up to their feet. Three minutes and 30 seconds, and the pressure continues by Inoue as he gets another takedown right into the guard of Takazawa. He fighting dirty. You can fight dirty in Ryzen. I love the soccer kicks. Especially since the ESPN deal. Half guard right now is in a way. Two minutes and 58 seconds left in this second round. Still in that half guard, looking to looking to pass is Inoue. Man, so far Inoue's looked damn good in this fight, first and second round. Ryzen is like the for, formal version of King of the Streets. <laughs> Some hammer fist from the top position. Modified half guard side control for Inoue. Takazawa rolling out of it, rolled to his side, and Inoue did not let him get out of that, right back into that half guard. Some elbows by Inoue. Oh, now he's now he's playing dirty. Now he's being dirty. He's rubbing his elbow and forearm on a, around the cut to try to open it up again and then hit a couple times. That's savage. That's savage. JL, did you see that? That was savage. Ropes versus cage make a big difference when you're in there. Oh, no, absolutely. But, I mean, these guys are used to the, the ropes if they're signed by the promotion. 
the crowd doesn't the crowd can't see what's going on right now we got the front we got the front row seat In a way, now going for the Kimura. Setting up the Kimura. He's going to tap and he taps. How can it finish it? It is all over! That dirty son of a bitch, In a way, gets the win with the Kimura. Oh, and In a way, tried to jump over the ropes and could not do it. Ended up just falling on his side. Have to say, don't like how he opened up the cut using his elbow and his forearm. And I guess like the ref didn't warn him or anything. So I guess that's legal and rising formal street fight. Right. But opened up that cut couple elbows and then went for the Kimura. His eye is pure red. Gosh, damn. This is such an even matchup. Probably the closest all night. Anyway, submitted Takizawa. Gravedigger Jones predictions five, three and one. One more fight left here on the card, ladies and gentlemen. One more fight here left on the card. And then we are going to go over to the next stream that's scheduled here on the channel and go right into Ryzen versus Bellator. And he had a close arm bar earlier in this fight as well. Yeah, this was a good fight. This was a good fight. Oh, sorry, average, uh, average fight fan. Okay, give him Rod Tang. See who can cut more with elbows. Dude, uh, Rod Tang is such a joy to watch. However, Rod Tang's not a UFC, or skinny UFC, is not an MMA fighter. By the way, big shout out to Anissa Mexin, best K1 female in 1FC. Is she Persian? Anissa is a Persian name. Anissa is my sister's name. I don't think he can face up with the Iron Man ham. My goodness. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here, folks. And the graphic. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. Oh, I love how pretty much every single fighter, you know, thanks everyone for coming out on New Year's Eve. I mean, this is just such a huge event for these guys, right? For any fighter being able to, you know, New Year's Eve fights in Japan with, you know, with pride, with Ryzen, you know, these these are these are important events for fighters and for fans of this sport. And look at the arena. It's sold out. There's over 20,000 people here. On New Year's Eve to watch mixed martial arts and a, and a show to go along with it. It's truly incredible. Main event of Ryzen 40 is next before we get into Team Bellator versus Team Ryzen, folks. Tournament championship final here. The first women's bout here on the entire card i just synced up all right good 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 i think i'm growing more into idol ring girls maybe it's just me as a long time anime fan helps it helps Fighter proceeds to blow someone's head off with a shotgun. So first, I would like to thank the crowd for coming to this major event and to witness this win. I can thank you enough. <laughs> All right, folks. The next fight is upon us here. All right. Next, we have Sika Izawa against Siwoo si Park in this tournament championship bout here. 
Sika Izawa. 8 and 0 in her pro MMA career. She's 25 years old. 8 and 0, so obviously 5 out of 5 in her last 5 fights. 4 and 0 in Ryzen, 3 and 0 in deep fight promotions. Her last fight she won via armbar in the second round. Before that she won via front choke, unanimous decision, ground and pound, heel hook. I mean, she's got She's got submissions. She's got power. She's got dog. Sika Izawa, 8 0. Her opponent, Siwu Park, 9 and 4. Ranked number one in Japan. She's from South Korea. She's 31 years old. She's fought primarily. And you know what? At the, at the highest level in Ryzen, she's three and zero in Ryzen, three and one in Deep, and two and one in Jewels. Currently, on a four fight win streak. Her most recent loss is actually coming to her opponent right now. Sika Izawa was her last loss in Deep back in twenty twenty one. So this is a rematch, folks. This is a rematch. As both of these women have fought in a different promotion, they fought in deep 104 impact back in 2021. Since losing to Izawa, the you know in their last fight, Siwa Park has joined Ryzen and has gone on a four-fight win streak. To now be facing the last person who she lost to in the tournament finale. I mean, you can't write this stuff. I'm going to go with Siwoo Park. I think she gets this win, forces a rubber match in 2013, or 2013, in 2023. Going with the Korean. Let's go, baby. Habib disagrees. <laughs> yes, comment of the night. Who's your favorite UFC fighter? Uh, current favorite UFC fighter? I like Dariush and Charles Oliveira. Um, and past favorite UFC fighter, Anderson Silva and George St. Pierre. I love Carlos Condit too. He was All his fights were fun to watch. Honestly, Japanese ring girls seem more honorable. They don't have to dress skimpy. Instead, rely on their face. I'm going to go for Sika Azawa. Locking it in. Interesting walkout song for Siwoo Park. I'll be watching you. Uh, I'll be here for this last fight. I got to save the rest for me and my girl tomorrow. I told her I'd be watching Seinfeld right now. Fair enough, brother. Fair enough. Hey, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll see, I'll see you even if you just drop in and say hello while I do the Cage Warriors stream. As like I'm, I'm going to be doing Cage Warriors UK versus USA around noon tomorrow. Siwoo Park making her walk out. I think Park gets the upset. I think so too. My favorite is Gone, then Rose. No kidding. <laughs> then Prob Jones. Some more rips for the baddies. Uh, Bricks Nemo, uh, the final fight of Ryzen 40 is about to begin. So after this fight, brother, after this fight, so in one hour, they're timing it pretty good, folks. They're timing it pretty good. Sika Izawa looks like uh, Miku Mat Matsumoto. I don't know who Miku is. Diddy. Oh, that's P. Diddy. Sigi is out by armbar. <laughs> and you said dirty fighting is legal? <laughs> what time is Bellator uh, rising? I just told you, buddy. In about an hour. 
Favorite up and coming UFC fighter, maybe one or two UFC fights max. Mm. How many fights has Mokayev had? He probably has too much, but he probably was like the best rookie fighter of this year. Mohammed Mokayev. Um, that was another one. Uh, the Bashrat guys, or the brothers, Bashrat brothers, they're good too. One just came on through Contender Series, but the older one, I believe, has had one or two UFC fights. Um, What other prospects am I missing, folks? I can't think of any yet. 3 a.m. Let's go Izawa. Ooh, Josh Quinlan, that's a good one. That's a good name, actually. Peak Master supports Korean fighters. Ooh, I like this walkout song. Oh, hell yeah. I'll pop in for Cage Warrior Show. Sweet, brother. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I've got family in Hawaii, so I want to see Quinlan do well. That's awesome, dude. I'll keep special tabs on him as well. Oh, you know what? I do have a I do have an up-and-coming fighter that I like. One sec. Oh, I forget his name off the top of my head. Uh, one sec. My roommate went to high school with a kid who came off Contender Series, and he's fighting on the next card. Uh, what the fuck is his name? Do, 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 do. What the heck? Why is it not showing up now? Oh, anyways, he's a wrestler. Thank you so much. No worries, buddy. So if AJ gets the win, he technically is the Ryzen champion. <laughs> I don't think he's going home with the Ryzen belt, but yeah. Well, actually, no, because they're they're not five uh, five round fights. They're three rounds. So technically, no. <laughs> now that's the rap I like to listen to. <laughs> Did you ever think Brendan uh, Schwab ever had potential in the UFC? No. Did I think he was like not the worst heavyweight when he was in the UFC? Sure. Shove cut, baby. Yeah, but he's had more than one or two fights. Uh, never actually tuned into a cross plate MMA or cross platform MMA event, except for the old Pride UFC ones. Yeah, dude. Like the the Pride Grand Prix back in the day, Jack Del Jack Della. That's a that's a great great name. Jack Della is going to be a hell of a problem. Another random guy. He's only coming off of Dana White Contender Series. Oh, Rafael Estevam. He's good. Yep, that's a name to look look out for. He's real legit. I think I did a uh, one of these streams during his fight on Contender Series. What's up, Road Rage? Let's go. Yeah, that was a great, a great, uh, great pick, Diego. I love Jack Della. Travis Brown has potential, man. But if AJ beats him in one, doesn't matter. Brandon versus Krokop, the legend killer. <laughs> uh, Brandon is my guy. I don't get all the hate. Eh, I don't hate him. He's just he's just easy to make fun of. Joe Pfeiffer is an obvious one. Yeah, this year's contender series actually actually has some pretty good prospects. Oh, here we go. A little uh, a little music. I'm so bad. I'm so sad he beat Ozzy Diaz though. Lee Murray, yes. Um. Oh, so the fighters uh, get their national anthems sung before the end of this championship 
tournament fight, Lee Murray. He pulled off one of the, or he was part of one of the biggest bank heists in history while he was fighting. He was robbing banks. So the Korean national anthem is being sung right now. I was going to say Pfeiffer after his clinic earlier. Be like Joe Pfeiffer. Yeah, so this is the final fight of Ryzen 40 before we get, get into the Bellator versus Ryzen. And it's also the tournament, the championship, the tournament finale for these two fighters. The UFC should take the show to Japan and let the Ryzen crew handle production. But with a cage, that would be amazing. Anime intros and all that jazz. Oh, my God. And you have to imagine, like, Israel Desanya, Brandon Moreno, like, those anime-loving guys would just eat that shit up. Missed opportunity for Bellator to bring in uh, Jake Haggard, represent Pure USA against Pure Ryzen. I don't know. I usually do that in every World Cup match. <laughs> Yeah, Lee Murray was a legit British gangster straight out of a Guy Ritchie movie. Gravedigger standing up and respecting the countries. I mean, I didn't even take my hat off. I haven't heard uh, the Japanese national anthem in a long, long time, to be honest. I'm so used to just like hockey nation national anthems. Um, what's the next UFC event? UFC Fight Night. Um, of Bastelum. Why can't I see the freaking card? All right, we're going to topology again. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. It's just bugging me. I don't remember my roommate's friend's name who's on this card coming up. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Carlos Hernandez. He's 8-1 and one right now. He's fought... He's on an eight-fight win streak. He got a win in LFA. He has one win in the UFC, and he got his contract via Contender Series. But yeah, he lost his um, pro MMA debut, and then he's gone on an absolute tear since. Not the most exciting fighter, very much a wrestling-heavy game, but you know, my buddy went to high school with him, played soccer with him, so it's pretty cool to see Carlos Hernandez, you know, someone you know close to a friend of mine and my roommate, to uh, make the UFC. Uh, mountain bets. I will give my thoughts after the fight, brother, because the fight's about to begin. You got to support Korea. South for sure. North, eh, it's complicated. <laughs> I'm going to honor Japan by crap, cracking open a sake. I hope Pitbull sings the USA anthem. Pitbull's Brazilian. <laughs> all right, round one, folks. Let's get it all. Arigato. I fought North Korean guys. They are made of steel. Thoughts on Hill and Glover? I think Glover's going to win. I think he's going to out grapple Hill, who got out grappled by freaking Tiago Santos, who has no knees. I can't believe we're in a world where Jamal Hill is the favorite to get the belt. All good. All good. All good. I, I went through it anyways, buddy. Uh, you should watch Eagle SC. Khabib's promotion is just pure fun to watch with a similar production to Rise In. They've stopped doing them. And there's more to that, by the way. 
they're not going to be doing any more in the the US or North America for a very long time or ever again. Um, I did watch the Kevin Lee and Diego Sanchez card. I am sad that it's canceled. That's that's my thoughts on it. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in this first round. A nice left hook by Siwoo Park. Izawa's the favorite. Izawa beat Park last time in their fight. They're here now in Rise in a different promotion than when they last fought. Oh, and a nice right hand lands on Siwoo Park by Izawa. And Izawa's going for the submission. She's going for the back take already. Izawa, a very good grappler. Um, I was very excited to watch that fight. Jeff Neal and Shavkat, it was canceled. Yeah, Jeff Neal had to pull out. No, it, it got a big push by the UFC to promote certain fighters when it came to the US. It's mostly going to operate in Russia. Oh, No worries, buddy. No worries. Uh, three minutes. Three minutes on the dot. Izawa on the back of Siwoo Park right now. Not doing much to advance position. Siwoo Park holding the right wrist of Izawa. And I mean, hey, the, the official might separate them here. Okay, sure. Hype up Glover. Think the 43-year-old will win. I'll be here when Sweet Dreams holds up the belt. <laughs> we'll be here. We'll be here. I'm just saying... A no knees, Tiago Santos took downhill with ease. Glover Deshare is a way better grappler than a no knees, Tiago Santos, even at 43. It'll be a boring fight. Glover is going to win it. Body triangle here on the back. Izawa. But look, if Hill won, if Hill wins, I'll still be smiling because Hill is, I mean, how can you hate against Sweet Dreams? He has the funniest tattoos on his chest. Okay, come on, official. Separate them here. Izawa does not want to go down to the to the mat here. Siwu Park doing everything she can to keep this fight standing. Could be, could be. That Yuri Prohaska fight was so awesome. Except for the fact that Glover lost. <laughs> but I love I love Prohaska too. Separate. This is a dominant position. No, you're right. It is now, and she's doing she's doing quite a bit with it. But there was like a th almost a minute stretch. It was like 45 to 50 seconds where Siwa Park literally kind of had her in a stalemate where she was holding the arm and wrist, and Izawa wasn't doing anything. So yeah, I get you're on your back, but like sometimes you're laying on top of them. And they will separate you and bring you back up. So, good point call, calling me out there. And Izawa landing some good shots from the back here. Now, because she's actually being active here, I wouldn't suggest at all that you separate them. Okay, well, Yuri reversed him, took him down, submitted Glover. So, okay, Jay, come on. Don't start that shit now. In the fifth round, after they went through an absolute war, hand on the head too good well everyone thought glover would submit yuri so okay all right jay in five rounds this would be fine upset that robert versus costa was canceled not a three seek a whaling on park but still not bringing her down i forgot that jay Hates Glover to share. Sorry, buddy. I, I struck a nerve. 
No more Glover to share a talk. All right, end of the first round here, folks. Backpack. <laughs> Izawa started to beat up on Siwu Park at the end of that first round. Second round here. Does Chael have beef with Rogan? I don't think so. Not that I know of. All right, round two, folks. Let's get it all! They both take the center of the ring. And Siki Izawa. Her game plan is it's pretty evident. She wants this fight to go to the ground. And walking in with a flurry of shards is Siwoo Park. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in this first round. And going for the single leg is Izawa. Doesn't get it. Sprawling with Siwoo Park. She now has some hooks in. Pushing up against the ropes is Izawa. And going for a guillotine now is Siwoo Park. Some knees to the head here. She's got one underhook. And Izawa's trying to reverse to get her back or to get Siwoo Park to the ground, pushing outside the ropes. And the officials is going to move them. And Izawa trying to get that right hook in. She doesn't get it. Siwoo Park. With a left hook, with a left underhook here, I should say, trying to get some knees in. Just wrestling defense here by Siwoo Park. Doesn't want to be taken to the ground and using some knees to help with the defense in the clinch. Quick, quick level change by Izawa. She caught the single leg. She has the single leg. Siwoo Park sprawled on the knee here. And actually potentially has a choke here, trying to cinch that up. Potentially a Darce choke. Asika Izawa is still hunting for that single leg. What did I miss in the comments here? Bum, 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 bum. Glover just threw all his IQ at the moment. Just threw out his IQ at the moment for 10 seconds and Yuri took it. I mean, it was a dumb move by him. Old and tired at that point. Hey, Ken, all I say, I can't do it. I'll be having and enjoying my uh, my Leon moment when Sweet Dreams knocks out your boy. I mean, Leon moment when your boy, the favorite, beats the 43-year-old. Soak it in. Most of the beatings in Ryzen are way too one-sided. I hope Ryzen gives their best against Bellator. Um, everyone's had success finding it on Twitch, uh, David. Two minutes left in the second round. Jiu-Jitsu motherfuckers when they toss themselves to the ground for easy ground game, but then the refs tell them to get up. Izawa. Still desperately clinched that single leg. Siwu Park. With her right, with a right underhook. One minute and 30 seconds left in the second round. Hey, good job by Siwu Park. Back up against the corner of the ring here. And she has her right underhook in and just not allowing Izawa to get that single leg. And the referee's had enough and he is going to separate them. Such a strange round. Izawa just, she wants us to go to the ground. Simple as that. Overhand by Izawa. Pushing her opponent back 
to the corner of the ring again. Double leg potential here. Doesn't have it. 30 seconds left in this second round. This is like Adesanya's title defense, but minus the title, seeing how much grappling there is and how resistant both are. And the referee separates them again with 15 seconds left in the second round. Oh, and a slip there. By Siwa Park. And now they're just swinging and banging both of them here. Flurry of shots by Siwa Park. She knows she's going to have to get some shots in. If she wants to win this fight. And right at the bell. A few hooks in. All right, end of the second round. We're going into the third round, folks. Going into the third round here. For the tournament championship, these 110-pounders in a rematch where Izawa took it the last time they met. The last fighter that Siwoo Park lost to was Seika Izawa in deep 104 impact via unanimous decision. And if she doesn't do something big in this third round, this outcome is going to be the same. Siwoo Park really taking advantage of the separations. Masika put her back in the corner. Park round. I mean, she landed more shots, 100%. I think Park took that round to go 1-1. Let's go, baby. Yeah, the first round was Izawa. Um, yeah, I can see Park taking that second round. So let's go to the third tied one. Let's get it all. Let's go, baby. The knees were the most dangerous moment. Park keeps sticking her neck out. I think Izawa can slip a few uppercuts or hooks. <laughs> Izawa trying to pull guard there. Lull. Izawa rolling forward or shifting forward on her back. I shouldn't say rolling, but 30 seconds into this. Izawa just wants Siwa Park to engage in the grappling. Siwa throws Seika down. She pulls guard right after that, and she's still on her back rolling around. And the official now stands Izawa back up. It's like rolling in Dark Souls. <laughs> Four minutes left in this third and final round. Both these women on their feet here. Center of the ring. Inside leg kick by Izawa. Izawa just throwing big overhands to try to get Siwu Park moving so she can set up the level change. You couldn't do this in front of a USA crowd. You get booed out. <laughs> this is Ensign uh, Inoue and Randy Couture. <laughs> oh, and Siwu pounces on the back of CK Izawa. Siwu Park holding on to the neck, but I don't think she fully... She's She's way too high. Controlling that left arm of Izawa is Siwu Park with her left foot. Way too high to get any sort of submission here. Oh, shifting down a little bit. She has one hook in. Siwu Park now has one hook in. If she can get that other leg, if she can get that other hook in, secure a body triangle, I mean, that would be huge. Siwu Park still has the back of Izawa. Back to their feet now. Good scramble. Izawa has double underhooks though. Izawa desperately going for the takedown. She pushes Siwu Park into the ropes. And Izawa, just like a monkey, attaches right on to Siwu Park. Looking for a guillotine and 
Siwa Park goes right into the corner to try to pry her off. Two minutes to go in this third and final round, folks. Ryzen 40 comes to a close after this, but Bellator versus Ryzen begins right after in 40 minutes' time. Trying to climb a little bit higher on the torso of Siwu Park is Sika Igawa to try to sink in a guillotine. One minute and 30 seconds left. Izao is trying to get her arm all the way across the outside of Siwu Park's neck. One minute left in this third round. Oh, it's starting to oh, it's starting to sink in, and she gets out of it. She gets out of it in Siwu Park. And Siwu Park's soccer face. Izao is not defending well at all. It looked like she was out there for a second. And Siwoo Park with a soccer kick to the face and then a few hammer fists. Izawa now looking for a straight ankle lock. And Izawa releases Siwoo Park. 30 seconds left and she's back on her feet. Izawa tried to go in for another... Another kick from the top right into the full guard of Izawa. 15 seconds left in this third and final round. Would an MMA match work? Well, if we just tried a square cage instead of a hexagon. I don't think so. The corners would be would be tough. Trying to finish that fight was Siwoo Park. And I think Siwoo Park might have won that third round. End of the third round. Very interested to see how this fight is scored. Very well could have been 1-1 going in to that third round. Yeah, because that last sequence there, it looked like Izawa was hurt. I think Park won that third round. She just did more damage, I guess, and... Yeah, Zawa was looking to the ref almost for a, almost looked like. Yeah, she looked super compromised there at the end of that third round. Park had way more aggression at the end to finish that fight, or look to to try to finish that fight. A stomp followed by ground and pound. Park won, in my opinion. It's over. What tenacity by both ladies. Pretty decisive decision overall. <laughs> it's in Tokyo, so... Wow. Well, there you go. Izawa wins this fight. Peak Master, you said it. It's in Tokyo. So Izawa wins this one. She's still undefeated in mixed martial arts. And Siwoo Park looking very disappointed here. Losing twice now to this woman. Her last loss was to Izawa back in 2021. She put together a four-fight win streak in deep cage impact and Ryzen to come back strong and should have got the decision. Park is winning so far. Izawa is relying too much on grappling, which is kind of a stinker since it's MMA and not pure BJJ like 1FC. That one was a bullshit decision. 6-3 and run. 6-3 and 1 run Izawa. It's the right decision, says average fight fan. Crippled ham. So that's pure judge uh, biasness, like Buakab being robbed off K1. 
Seems rigged. It's in the home country. That is bullshit. Undefeated still even after a loss. <laughs> Let's go. Not sure how she won the third, being outstruck and almost finished. Yeah, well, we all kind of had the same thoughts on that one, folks, I think. Well, most of us, most of us. Not everyone in the chat, but but most of us. And there you go. Winning the tournament is Izawa. <laughs> Guys, be prepared. We're going to see some more controversial robberies for Bellator. So hold your horses. She got the patty treatment. <laughs> I wouldn't say worse than the patty fight. Come on, JL. I wouldn't say worse than the patty fight. I thought the patty fight was way more clear that Jared won. I think, I, don't, I mean, I think the third round was Siwoo Park too. I, I'm agreeing with almost everything except for the worse. <laughs> Oh, not be proud, man. This sucks having fights being rigged. Big accusations. Uh, 7 million yen and all. I don't think she felt like she won that one, though, Jay. You can kind of just see her on her face. Patty just had an iron chin with zero strikes. This fight had a few decent strikes. That is way better than Patty. Not feeling as hot about my Archuleta bet now. <laughs> what the heck's going on? She's crying now. Uh, I think, read the room, the commentators, no one thinks the girl won. <laughs> Patty equals Sage Northcutt, except Sage Northcutt. Like, he, I don't think he had any, like, controversial decisions, did he? I mean, I, I don't, I, I didn't really follow Sage Northcutt, to be perfectly honest, when he was in the UFC. I do know he got knocked the fuck out in Ryzen, though. Not rigged, but I, th I think some hometown judging occurred there. It's part of the sport, unfortunately. Okay, folks, it is 3.29 a.m., in my neck of the woods right now. So I am going to end this stream. I'm going to end this stream so that we can jump on the Bellator versus Ryzen stream that I have scheduled. It's ready to go also on this channel. So migrate over to that one in half an hour's time. I mean, you can migrate over there now to the live chat if you want. Like the video. Let me know if you have any last suggestions on what you want me to make the poll question for that new stream. I haven't put a poll question up yet. I'm curious if on what you guys think I, I should uh, post for the poll question. So if you have any last-minute suggestions, get them in the live chat. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Like the video or like the next video, Bellator vs. Ryzen. I want to take a little bit of a break here and recharge for at least half an hour before the next stream. So I'll give everyone in the live in the live chat here a shout out in just a moment's time. But if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to post as our poll question in the next stream, this is your final call to do so. Sage Norka has not fought since 2020. Crocodile tears or joy? One championship, not Ryzen. You're right, one championship. Same with Bisping versus Henderson 2. I really enjoyed the stream. You do a fantastic job. Give Kyle a mic so he can chime in if he wants. I'll drop in for Cage Warriors tomorrow. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining. You're an absolute beauty. Okay, see you in Bellator vs. Rise, and I'll see you there, Grave Digger. Get a power nap. Get a power nap. I'm going to grab another beer, and maybe, or actually maybe some coffee. Maybe some coffee. Crippled Ham, thank you so much. Shout out to you, Crippled Ham. Shout out to you, Grave Digger. Shout out to you, Average Fight Fan. Shout out to you, the man, the myth, the legend. JL. Shout out to you, Big Nose You. Thank you so much for joining. Shout out to Mountain Bets. Mountain Bets. It's been so fun having you here as well, sir. Shout out to Diego. Shout out to MMA Grant. Shout out to Peak Master. The French had a good day today, Peak Master. 
Shout out to David Reyes. Shout out to you, David Reyes. David Reyes, the future best judge in all of MMA. Shout out to do, 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 do. who else was in here? We had a lot of regulars in here. Roid Raid. Shout out to you, Roid Raid. Shout out to Pac Man TV. Shout out to Bricks Nemo. Shout out to do, 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 do. I'm just scrolling up through the chat here to make sure I don't miss anybody, folks. Um, buh, 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 buh. still scroll. Shout out to Isaiah Villa. Shout out to you, Brittany and Brian. Shout out to both of you as well. Shout out to Mike Jones. Shout out to Moose, uh, Moosey TV. Shout out to do, 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 do. man. There's a lot of comments here. Not complaining. Not complaining. Just a lot to scroll up here. <laughs> Um, buh, 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 buh. Shout out to Fern Cajun. Shout out to Leon Izgi. Shout out to Norshi. Shout out to Rusty Dusty. Shout out to Benjamin. Thank you so much for joining Benjamin as always, brother. Shout out to uh, Foul One. Thank you so much for joining Foul One. Bum, 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 bum. Shout out to Slop King. Thank you so much for joining Slop King. You're an absolute beauty. Shout out to Bob. Shout out to Lick Misak. Shout out to Gordon Liu. Shout out to Terry Crow. Shout out to do, 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 do. Jules, Judy V. Shout out to you. Man, you guys have been here in this stream for the whole time. You guys are all amazing. Mike Jones, thank you so much again for joining in. Mike Jones, thank you so much for the $2 super sticker as well, buddy. I always appreciate your support. Same with Gravedigger Jones, Shane Van Nice, Sean Butcher, Ali, Zuki, and of course, Mike Jones. You guys are the exclusive members of the channel, and I appreciate you guys. Shout out to Victor. Shout out to Jelani. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. I told you, I'm giving every single one of you who commented a shout out. Shout out to Zinus. Thanks so much for joining Zinus. Shout out to Looney. Shout out to Soto. Shout out to Rogue Strummer. Shout out to Jake. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Shout out to Brandor. Thanks so much for joining Brandor. Shout out to Adam. Shout out to Aaron S. Shout out to Kakashi NF. Shout out to Vasco. Um, ba, 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 ba. and I think that is it. Holy moly, this was so much fun! Do, 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 do. Get a coffee, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll salute you guys when I get there. See you on the Bellator Horizon. It's in 26 minutes. A tribute to Antonio Inoki. Thank you, Inoki. Sorry, but what does that say? Behind me? It says hi. <laughs> I feel like Bellator will map, will mop them and then dust them and then roll them up and smoke them out of here. Ooh, maybe I'd just do that. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you again, all of you, so, so much for joining us on Ryzen 40. Join us on the other side on the Ryzen vs. Bellator stream that will be up on this channel in 24 minutes time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And I will see you folks on the other side on the other stream 
for Bellator vs. Rise. And you all are amazing. See you all in 25 minutes time. Bellator vs. Rise in. Rise in 40 is wrapped up. What a great event. Hopefully we see more of them on the other side. New Year's Eve in Japan. MMA, let's freaking go. See you all folks in 25 minutes time on the other side. Appreciate you all. Thank you for those going to bed. I Thank you so much for joining here tonight, and I'll see you folks on the next live stream. Peace.